Bobby. I want you to meet my colleague, Dr. Hamilton. And I would like you to get the fuck out of here. Oh, it's all get right. out of here. <laughs> hey, leave him alone, you bitch. Get out of Bobby's room. <laughs> Damn. They grow up, up so fellas? fast. What's happening? Welcome, Kelsey Shannon, and welcome, Michael Bancroft, all the way from the other side of the world, where it is probably 9 o'clock in the uh, morning. 11.42 in the morning. What, Just Louisiana? finished up a crazy stream. Um, yeah, but ready to go. Yeah, tell them who you had on your stream. I had the Joshua Durstein on, and we just had crazy announcements. So David Finch drew a cover for this uh, kid. He's 18 years old. He's doing his first comic ever. He just cracked 10,000 live on the show just then, hey. a couple of minutes ago. And he, uh, he gave away a, a sketch, but he announced that he's going to be giving away his David Finch cover, the original, Ooh. to a random backer who backs while the campaign is live, which is absolutely Whoa. bonkers to me. Everyone's saying I would never part with a Finch on I your show. One. Wow! Yeah, your 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 freaking chat is gonna have <laughs> my a... little my little rinky dink show. Fantastic! <laughs> so a, yeah, a, nice. a, 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 a random backer from today's show. Not to, well, for, a random backer from today's show won a sketch from Joshua. Okay. But Throughout the course of the um, campaign, so it's live now. It just launched yesterday. They they did a David Finch did a, a, a draw stream, drew the cover live for two hours. So that cover that he drew, at some point during the campaign, I don't know how long it's going to be thirty days, sixty days. Uh, a backer, like one lucky backer, is going to win that cover. It's insane. It's like five thousand dollars easy prize there. Wow. I know what I'm doing uh, later. Yeah, buy that book. <laughs> and to think and to think i was gonna back one of your guys campaigns oh, <laughs> no, <right? laughs> thanks for, thanks for stopping me michael <laughs> uh mods please put the link to that kids campaign in there so we could all get in on that <laughs> now, hang on you got you got a, you got probably got a couple of months it's all right slow your roll everyone it's with no, you and, get in uh, it and, yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> All right. Um, hold on. Let's. Speaking of campaigns, let's take a look. What is this Kelsey, show? Kelsey, uh, you never, oh. uh, you never mentioned uh, to me that you were actually doing a campaign. You know, I only found that on Comic Gate <laughs> Things last night. That's <laughs> kind of weird. Uh, it was one of those things where I was building it up for a while. I was talking to my audience about it. You know, I'd kind of thrown out. I was talking to a few people, just, just so you know, just loosey goosey, not really talking about it. And then I just been getting all these signs that. Uh, you really need to be doing this like right now. You need to get it going. And I was like, okay, you know, uh, let's do this. Right now is a great time for some reason. Let's just do this. All right, and but, I had it all ready to go. So, yeah. but who set up? Who who helped you with the uh, with the fund my comic? Oh, there was like teams of people uh, helping me. <laughs> of saying, if you had to, like on Indiegogo, you got to sit there and put it together, you know. <laughs> and I was like, there's no way Kelsey is not is doing this. So. Who, who who are these uh, unsung heroes that guided your <laughs> hand? Name the real heroes of this campaign. Uh, well, Luke Stone for one, uh, Ethan Van Skyver for another, John Malin, now you, Cecil, and the chat. Everybody's been a part of like helping me uh, through this all, and I'm so grateful. I mean, this is just uh it's almost easy like it makes it it's like oh is this what you guys been doing all along no problem you know like <laughs> but you guys didn't have teams of people like behind you <laughs> well, yeah the indie might have the it, no the indiegogo was kind of a pain in the ass there's so many and i'm sure with that's still filling out forms i'm sure michael you're doing it on your own site so that's even more i'm sure hectic <laughs> Uh, and, before uh, I went live, like two days, I think I did one day where it was almost 24 hours straight work. Uh, I, you know, I took, I took a, I had lunch, had dinner, but it was, yeah, it was 4 a.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning straight. Yeah, I think uh, I did it in a like a couple different. hours. Set it up. Yeah. Fun my comics, very easy to do. <laughs> yeah, especially yeah. when you're barking orders to other people. <laughs> Not like that, like this. 
No, 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 no. For in all in all seriousness, I I wanted to go through the experience of the fun my comic uh, uh, deal. You know, as as someone who was bringing a campaign there, um, I wanted the same. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The same percentages that anybody would get. I wanted uh, uh, no special treatment, none of that. I just wanted to see what it was like. And I put it together myself and it was very easy. Well, I mean, if you read what I wrote, you can obviously tell that I'm uh, full of myself. Uh <laughs> you didn't go in there and say, don't you know who I am? I'm yeah. Kelsey motherfucking Shannon. Oh, no, I talked myself up real good. I mean, <laughs> someone has to. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let me, people are telling me to snipe Zia's stream right now. She must be half naked. Let's hey, let's, let me, let me, let's have our priority something completely here. different. Let's, yeah, palate let's cleanser. Let's see, palate cleanser. This is an aperitif. Oh my goodness! Why don't you guys dress like this on my show? What? Everybody, everybody is right. By the way, be careful. Share. You're gonna share. Hold on. I'll get my bustier out. This is like post Kangs yesterday when uh, Shane and and Choka were arguing over that uh, actress from Tron. Oh, I liked her. Yeah. And then and then and then Choka went off to go her watch mind. her, uh, <laughs> her, oh, her porn video secret videos. <laughs> yeah, did you see this? I was holding this up. This is a uh, Bill Willingham. Uh oh. Bill Willingham drew this for me. Um, you know, the fables guy. Can you make it darker in that room? Uh, let me see. Uh, no, no, there we, uh, no. Oh, well, I tried. I could kind of <laughs> see it. There we go. Oh, How much better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah Bill, uh, Bill Willingham uh, sketched oh, there it this for my birthday. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, one of I his love... like little characters from uh, I don't know. Uh, what from. Fables is one of my favorite comic uh, series of all time for sure. Man, I, I really loved that when that was coming out. I never read any of that. I was a fan of like his old porn stuff, like Ironwood. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got to read it. You got to read Fables. Is so fucking good. You'll uh, you'll you'll get like you get dragged into it, and then you're like you just can't wait for, well i was reading it when it was coming out so i couldn't wait for the next step you know you should uh you should read coventry that's another one he did right before fables uh very cool uh, still the same kind of stuff but coventry was great and that's creator own he probably still makes money off that go buy that one instead all right, all right let's check in with zia just because the fans here asked for mm. it yeah not for any other reason I'm not gonna exploit my friend zia for no reason I, you know you know me Chain, yeah. I don't exploit my friends. Oh, I, I was about to undress. Let's see. Was that it? Did you just call me Shane? Oh, hold on, I pause it. No, Shane. he was talking to the royal Shane. Yeah, <laughs> the royal. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, theoretical. What are you showing me for? Look Why at all these I... sketches. Look at this giant stack. This freaking. This is just one stack. Holy shit! Never mind my stack. Whoa. Speaking of stacks, those are Who brand new. It? She just got them a couple weeks ago. Who is this? That's uh, Zia Anderson. That She's was the woman in the photograph from a couple of weeks ago. What's on her cheek? She cut herself shaving. Uh, that's a dimple, I believe. No, no, oh, no, no it looks like it. a band aid. You're right. She has. A... Oh, what did she do? <laughs> <laughs> she plucked her hair and it went wrong. How Listen, much? How much boob did she have before the surgery, Cecil? Do we know these things? I mean, yeah, I know. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I did know these things. They're, uh, oh, they're... I like her with glasses. She looks like a sexy librarian, though. Yeah, it's one of those you know moments where they in a movie they have their in glasses, and she's supposed to be all frumpy and. Oh, no look now how her. hot she is! I can't and believe she the takes trans- them off and lets her hair down. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> um. Yeah, they do like a good parody of that on a like not another teen movie or something where they're like, "There's no way you could turn this chick into a hot girl," and it's like this super hot girl with just a ponytail yeah. and glasses. They're like, "No way!" Yeah, dude, it's. I mean, the hot nerd is definitely a thing, you know. I sure. mean, it's like, yeah, she was already hot, and then I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, you kind of yeah, because like, it's a fantasy. It. You overdid it. I like the hot nerd. <laughs> All right. 
She tried. I was on always other... so stupid about this whole cultural thing because people well, like pretend that. Too. How did that happen? What happened? Oh, you just. I went back to see where I, I, <laughs> I was like, "What is I this a magic, magic show? Magic. They do that. There's a. I was going to see if there were any other outfit changes we missed, but uh, Zia's a really funny chick. Like she's she's cool. Uh, we hosted uh, Chrissy's show together. Uh, what does she do? She like in porn or something? Is this what she does? She does a show. You know the comedian Jim Norton. She does a show oh, with yeah. him. Oh yeah, yeah he's and funny. She's friends with Chrissy. She's like in the comedian world, and and uh, mostly she does like OnlyFans and t- I think Twitch stuff like that. But but uh, she's really very cool chick. She's a, she's a friend. And uh, mm. yeah. what's her tattoo there? It says Kelsey Forever. She. Uh, oh, finally. Yeah. It's a picture of your face, Kelsey. I've been looking for her. Where's it's the same going? one on your T-shirt. All right. <laughs> Let's get back to your boring stuff after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not. Don't, don't bring up my campaign after that. <laughs> there might be uh, sketches of, of someone who wants, like her. Who wants to follow that? Uh, who wants to look at comic books now? Just show my picture of Anna at the bottom, uh, holding her oh, yeah. dog. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to find... I feel like Billy Tucci bouncing around my room like this. This is what he does. But I'm trying to find this picture of Anna I did nuzzling into uh, George Lucas's neck fat. I got I it re- somewhere. I remember. Oh, that. I love that one. She it was like a like a plain Jabba. pillow. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it, was like, it was like a job uh, when uh, Leia's laying on Jabba's stomach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw a picture of Lucas today uh, on the set of the Labyrinth. He was thin. He, oh, was yeah. a, he was, he was a decent thin. looking man. How, what, what happened? He got like, he gained all his weight in his neck. He got like the <laughs> bull <bullfrog. laughs> No, he's not that fat. Yeah, no. it's, he's not that yeah. fat, but his neck just kept getting. <laughs> There's like two ways you can go. Because when you get that kind of like wealth, you got your Jeff Bezos wealth that he goes like. There's Anna. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> she still <laughs> said she, she still says she would screw George today. In Georgia's shape over Henry Cavill. She still says that. So. Dude, I think I would. I mean, talk really? about the story. When He's you're definitely more people, cuddly. Like, when we're like hanging out, having a beer, I'm like, Cecil, you're not going to believe this. I gave George Lucas a blowjob. <laughs> You'd be like, no way. Get the fuck out of here. I'm like, I, yeah, dude, it's George Lucas. I mean, I don't know. what. <laughs> it would definitely be a rarer story than. I think you'd have a better Henry chance Cavill. of blowing George Lucas than <laughs> Henry Cavill. <laughs> It's a story to tell. It's a, it's a yeah, it's a, it's a real um, conversation starter. I didn't say it was a good story. It's a terrible story to tell. Guess who? That's I what had started to... my major trauma in life was that time I blew George Lucas. Yeah. Guess what Star Wars star I had sex with? Uh, Natalie Portman. <laughs> oh, I was like a Greedo. <laughs> no. <laughs> How about George Aunt, Lucas? Aunt think of Peru? think of a character with a giant, uh, puffy neck thing. Oh, <laughs> oh it's Peru. the guy from uh, Return of the Jedi. Oh, close. <laughs> the Gamorrean guard. Yeah, that's who he's turned into. Uh, Anna has the link. <laughs> the Gamorrean. Guard. He has. He's turning into a Gamorrean guard. Uh, Eric Winberg says, "What's up, y'all? Who had a good day?" I had a good day. Thanks for asking, Eric. How about you guys? He's just oh, getting started. Is that Billy Tooch? It's Billy Tooch. Yeah, it's Tooch with uh, with his young hair, his full head of hair from back in the day. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Can't coach the Tooch. Yeah, I got to send this out to Billy, actually. He was like, can I have that? Give me that. <laughs> oh, you're going to send it out to him? He'll have it yeah. by the time he's completely bald. Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> so I make him really feel bad about these days. Right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'm getting uh, better at it, Cecil. I'm getting better. I'm learning from you guys. From me. That's from me. I'm you sure. you're one of the best in mailing stuff out, man. You've mailed me like I don't know. I think half the shit in this room you you sent me. I mean, seriously. Trying to get rid of this, my garbage. Yeah, this microphone is from you. <laughs> well, I bought you that as a gift because you were like talking into like I don't know like a broken camera. Oh, look at that. That's a very lovely Anna uh, portrait. Yeah. I captured her like this perfect. Now, did you see her wedding pictures today? That's not too far off from uh, the uh, the dress she was wearing. No, I didn't see her wedding pictures. Mama Mia. Well, not wedding pictures, but the uh, dress shopping. 
Yeah, sure somebody did. actually bought these. I need to send them out. They reminded me. I thought me the that I groom isn't them. supposed to see the dress beforehand. No, well, you know, he doesn't. He doesn't go on her Twitter. I guess. I got. Tiny. Yeah, this was Kelsey was drawing on, and every time he started a new sketch, her breasts got bigger. <laughs> so finally, <laughs> this is called that's no, full shortening. That's all it is. She was uh, Anna from uh, <laughs> Billy's book from She. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, that's it. Is there something I you mean, want to tell us, Kelsey? Uh, He's already told us a thousand times. Yeah, he's telling us <laughs> through, hide it through art. Now she's a married woman, so it's going to be a lot creepier, which is going to make it great. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, don't you dare stop. Um, <laughs> now, um, yeah, that's are these all going to be in the book, these sketches? Um, yes. Yeah, the I'm answer sure, is yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'll scan them in. I already sold them, but... Um, I on. can't be the only one exploiting Anna with uh, Kelsey Shannon drawings of her. I'm all sweaty. Oh, check it out. Here's uh um who is this? Uh oh yeah, a- Aaron Aaron and Gary Martin. He's like, uh, this is not a competition. He's like, unless you win. He's like, Yes, unless I win. They're the Muppets on the you know the Muppet show. Mm-hmm. Anyway. That's we, actually that's great. Have to it be is there. a lot like that on the show. It is a lot like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's one. This will get the Cecil going. It's my furry art. Silly rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Tricks are for men. Is that did you sell that piece? <laughs> the actual of that, original right? piece? Of the tricks? Yeah. Rabbit? No, 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 no. If anybody wants it, they can have it. We can sell it right here. Let's put it in the book. No, it's only gonna be black and white. There's not everything is going in the book. Like here's some like Are you uh, printing on uh snake uh, unco- uncoated stock, Kelsey? Yeah, of course, because I want it to look like. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's my snakehead guy. Look at this. Where? Oh. Here's a. Where is he? He's. There. Look at this face. Wait. Where the fuck is it? Somebody gave you a magnifying camera, and you're going. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> I know. That's what you do. <laughs> I'm having fun with it. All right. <laughs> yeah, I always, I always get a little bit disappointed when I get a black and white edition, and it's high gloss, and it smells chemical, and it just it doesn't. No, I want to no. feel a bit rough. No, yeah, I want it to be like um yeah, Kelsey's redrawing the, each picture for each book. <laughs> for <laughs> each book, each every single copy. That's what this is. Yeah, it's all on copy paper and then I'll tape it into a book and I I got I got like 200 of those. You know, how many backers I got now? Like 190. You know what? They still have it. Kinkos. You can go and get bound down Goodness. there. What? You know, you could take it down to Kinkos or something if that's still around. I yeah, they're called, they're called FedEx now. FedEx I haven't shop. seen a Kinko's in ages. Yeah. Kelsey, uh, maybe it's time to update your Grizzly Adams pick. Why? That's like uh, iconic at this point. Maybe go with Jeremiah Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I still got Ray Liotta on uh, my banner on Twitter. That was long before he Kelsey, died. Kelsey, what's the actor's name that played Grizzly Adams? Um, what's that guy's name? Um, ben. That was the bear. Yeah, that's the Ben. Like, <laughs> that's the. <laughs> that's the Ben. I forgot what he is. I forgot his name. Actually, I can't Dan forget Haggerty? it because. Oh, that, that sounds right, Dan Haggerty. Haggerty, yeah, that sounds yeah. right. You know now, what? If I change it, I gotta change it to that wrestling dude, uh, the hacksaw Jim Dugan. You know, yeah, He's got the the board that he hits people with, the two by four. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened to that. He got arrested with the Iron Sheik doing cocaine on the Jersey Turnpike, I believe. Wow. <laughs> <In the> middle. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> um. Uh, mm. God, by oh, yeah, the way, there's uh, a great picture Red of Dan Rock. Haggerty on IMDb with a gray beard. It's pretty, it's pretty good, Kelsey. Maybe you could update. What, what's your favorite Dan Haggerty uh, project that was non Grizzly Adams related? Who me? <laughs> Anyone? I, I don't wonder. If Dan <laughs> Hag- I don't think Dan Haggerty could answer that question. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think. He's dead. I mean, he's not answering anything. He's like, how'd you get hired for that job? I was in the woods. <laughs> what did he what was his they character for the guy, a bear. was it uh what was his show i don't even remember grizzly adams 
Oh, was it Grizzly? I see. I was a BJ and the Bear guy. You know, I watched the guy in the Grizzly truck. Adams with the you have the pic- your picture is Grizzly Adams. This is Grizzly Adams right here, man. Yeah, I mean, BJ and the Bear. The guy didn't even have a beard. He had, and he had a monkey, not a bear. I'm just that's, telling you what I liked when well, I that's did, why they when I was fucked, a kid. Not well, that I was a little like. bit of a mind fuck because they were on at the same time. They had. You had you had a guy named Grizzly Adams who had a fucking bear named Ben, and he had a guy named BJ <laughs> and the Bear, and it was a fucking the bear was a fucking chimpanzee. I'll tell you what, I'll shave my beard. You can go as uh, as the bear, and I'll go as BJ. Oh, this, since I since we never mind. Fucking blowing George Kelsey Lucas, Sham, uh, uh, Cecil, yeah. Cecil, share my picture there. That's the well, that's a little bit older, you know, a little bit wiser. Ooh. Okay. That could be Whoa. you, Kelsey. Is that me? No, that's you. Yeah, that's no, a it's handsome a handsome mountain man. BJ. <laughs> out there chopping wood. This guy and... would get a BJ from the bear. <laughs> <laughs> right before it eats his scalp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, those oh, things geez. freak. Ever since that fucking, uh, that, that Travis the Chimp attack that was caught on the phone where she's describing it in detail to the person. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am, I, I, I am fucking absolutely terrified of chimps. And you've seen the, the, the woman coming out on Oprah with her entire face missing. It ate oh her my eyeballs. God. It ate her nose. It ate her ears. It ate all of her fingers and thumb. I see a monkey. There's I'm nothing you can do. I'm shooting first. There's literally nothing you can do. There's like, nothing. You could, you know... With a even if there was a big guy who was it's just going do. crazy, you could still grab a still shovel and you know whack him on the back of the head. With a chimp, he would just shrug it off. The muscle density is so it, it it'd be like literally if I if you picked up if you had a three year old and you were like trying to like kill it with mm. your teeth, how hard would it be? You could do it pretty friggin' you know what I mean? There's nothing they could do to stop you. That's like what a pre- you have you ever seen a prey mantis <laughs> eat its victims? Yeah. It's like, like are, that. It's like they, they're just struggling, and this thing is just going. That's why you see a monkey. Forward. You know, if I'm walking down my neighborhood street and a monkey pops out, I'm shooting. You know, I'm not asking whose monkey is this. I had you a monkey jump shooting. on me in Thailand. Hmm. Peach is just proposed to one. <laughs> no, I also had an orangutan in in Borneo swing down like in a friggin' movie. Uh, a wild orangutan swing down and steal the hat off the top of my head. It's my bitch. favorite hat too. Did you get it back? Did you chase that fucker down? No, no, no. They they oh. they swing down and they because they know where the tourists come to watch them. So they they sw- they they stole a guy's camera. They stole my hat. He put the hat on and went like, you know, from up in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this guy who trained a crow to to take to to bring money. To his house he had an apartment building in china oh yeah i saw that you yeah, saw yeah. that and the crow would just yeah. fly around the streets and anytime someone took out money it would just grab it and yeah. fly, up, fly it like up to his apartment what yeah. a scam i mean that now that's did clever. you see the draw that's it human ingenuity money. it would just do it all day while the guy wasn't even home yeah. he had just a draw open in his house and, and a sliding door he's like on the 15th floor it would fly in the balcony and put it in a drawer and then go back out it's like that monkey from Aladdin. I want a stealing monkey. Abu. Abu. All right, this is um, me nuts. Headrock says, I can't promote Kelsey for some reason. Uh, these are wrench lamentings. I don't have the screen open, so I can't wrench you in, in StreamYard. Uh, you don't have Headrock uh, wrench? I thought I I would have figured he was. All right, hold on. Let me. He's got those moon bucks. Do we know what the moon bucks are? Did anyone figure that out? Let's see what Z is up to. They're kind of like Canadian dollars. Just moon dollars. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hold on. Let me... Uh, all right. I'm, I'm going to turn Z off here. It's well, like I'm a picture sure, of my brain. I got like... Sure two I've turned her off before. But uh, <laughs> that was in person. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a gift. <laughs> Um, let me see. What am I? What am I looking for? I'm looking for my own fucking stream. That's. Oh yeah, we are. She distracts me. But I'm a simple man. <laughs> I, see, I see boobs and I get distracted. Um, Headrock. Headrock, say something so I can. Uh, so I can wrench you, Mister Wonderful. Do you want a wrench too? 
I think That's everybody good. in my chat's got a wrench. <laughs> just I probably don't have a wrench because I'm never there. There was like wrench wars for a minute. Yeah, it always happens. Get a little bit of clout, a little bit of popularity. Everyone wants a wrench. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's uh. You know what? I just gave it to uh. I gave it to Miss Wonderful instead. Head Rock. I'm sorry. I can only give one out per show. <laughs> it's the rules. He doesn't make the rules. He just. Yeah. There you go. Now you can tell your kids. I was a moderator of some jackass show once. You know what? I tell everyone, Cecil, <laughs> for my clout, I say I was back in number six on Cash Grab. Wow. That was my claim to fame. That's an early backing. That'll get you in a couple doors. You've been waiting longer than almost everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> know, right? Yeah. <laughs> amazing who is number one that was that person literally waited the longest that yeah, was that, a great that was one of the best streams ever though back chris pofer says he was back or five. Oh wow is that that's what the first stream i just remember yeah, the that one was where the you one out where i was drunk <laughs> yeah, and being waiting. like cecil big... was so belligerent i was it was so funny People and he was actually get, pissing people off. Yes, they didn't get the joke that I was like, oh, I'm man. getting, to, as the number one go up, I'd go, I'm too big for you guys. I don't even need, I don't even know why I hang out. <laughs> and people like, what like, the fuck, Cecil? And we Ethan, back uh, to Yeah, they were, people didn't get the joke. They didn't get like the sarcasm. Like, fuck <laughs> this shit. I just made $10,000. I don't fucking need any of you. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> Oh shit! And then, I mean, the other one that was good was when you just posted the photo of the bag of cash, and you're like, "I'll see you, <laughs> see you when I see you." People flipped the hell out. Did you see was, Bancroft? Did you see real. my uh, my videos of Cecil skipping town, and then like the unsolved mysteries looking? Yeah, 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 yeah. I love them. Those are like my favorite videos I've ever mm. done. <laughs> I still like your ones where you were just out, you know, sipping coffee out in the. What looked yeah, like the oh, bayou to me? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know. I like them. Making a grilled right. cheese sandwich yeah. with, <laughs> with Miracle Whip of all things. I never saw anybody do that before. Everybody's hassling me about Kelsey. that, but it's like, oh, let me let me get some uh, mayonnaise that tastes like eggs that were on some you know Arab store it's, owners. It's like vinegary. Table. It's like vinegar, right? It's got a tang to it. Yeah, it's, but it's not it's vinegary. Good. I don't know. I don't know. It's good. I like it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they <laughs> sell it. Don't they sell it? Don't they? It's in every store, so somebody likes it. Dude, I, I think they were like they were talking about not selling it for a while. I was like, "Fuck, man, what am I gonna do? <laughs> My grilled cheese will never be the same. I'll just I'll have to leave regular May out, out in the sun for five days <laughs> <laughs> to get that. That's what regular mayo is. <laughs> it's like eggs left out in the sun too long, and then they mashed them up into mayo. Mm. That's what it tastes like anyway it's like that's why i don't eat it oh my god there was a night where i was so drunk and i was like oh do you guys want me to eat i was eating mayo out of the jar with the oh with a spoon oh. no memory of it oh and i had a shot glass full of it and oh god. and the no, next no, day no, i came no, to no, my no, computer no. i came to my computer and if you leave mayo out it turns clear like clear and yellow <laughs> it, it separates like, I was staring at it going, what the fuck is all over my desk? Like, I was like, it was like a dr empty fucking whiskey bottles and fucking, I was just like, what the fuck was going on here, man? How, how many me, times have you woken up to see the aftermath of the night before? Oh my God, God. broken <laughs> bottles. Blood, I mean, that one time I split my head open, it was blood all over the floor. I'm like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> You're like, oh, <laughs> Yeah, I've I I've will. slowed down with the drinking since the uh, divorce uh, is over. I have less. Cecil, reason. are you coming to Tampa? I am. I will be in Tampa. Excellent. We're all, let's all get three you, of us uh, going to be there. Let's get you a new wife and a, a new divorce. So, uh, oh, I can't wait to get started get... on that. <laughs> <laughs> you can get What's you a new book. <laughs> will What's you be my <laughs> next do divorcee? I always wanted to try to live on half of half. That would be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Uh, J Bomb, a fan, the above average savage. Oh, I like your new uh, handles, Jay. Uh, uh, Kelsey has all grown up. Yeah, look at that. He's got his own his own uh, campaign and everything. Campaign. Yeah. Whoever helped growing up, he's a real boy now. 
Luke mm-hmm. Stone, thank you for holding his hand. There's no way he would have put this together without help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. no. They they were helping me a great deal. Yeah. they Because I had, like, you know, you put something in, and you're like, how does this not work? And they're like, there's a little button right there. You Computers. Know, like, oh. <laughs> plug your computer in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why isn't none of them working? It's I'm over here. On, I'm over here on my PlayStation. Like I can't get it to work. What the? You're on a speaking spell, you drunk. <laughs> um, what is this? I'm fucking drinking shirt. I love it. I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, that's the Jack show. Fucking drink it. I'm fucking drinking. Yeah. All right. That that I have to get. Yeah. Um, your family. Uh, what size what you're there? Doing this weekend. See, so. I don't know. I'm. I'm. By the time this comes, I might be a medium. You should probably get the 3x just in case. Are you going also, down or yeah. up? I'm going down. <laughs> because you got to you got to factor in the arm uh width as well. You know I had to buy an I don't want to sound like a dickhead, but I had to buy an extra large winter jacket even though I was only probably a medium or a large cuz my arms couldn't fit in it. What's funny is it's going to look like a giant winter coat with like problem. two little legs coming out the bottom, you know, and you're walking around. <laughs> 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 big bird <Is> that... <laughs> like big bird giant no, there's like... a character there's a character that looks like that uh, I, don't know. I guess the newest one would be um that despicable me guy uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh yeah our kelsey is all grown up I cry yeah like... so this is just the beginning of it you know this is like um this is really like a chapter close of like everything i've done in cg for the last five seven years how long we've we been doing this since 2015 i don't know what year is it now uh, it's 2023 kelsey. 2023 it's 2027 been? kelsey you've you been can just jump into the future years. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, you're in a coma yeah i remember all this so even, even uh 2015 i guess when all this started i was working on on uh, mighty crusaders and um dark fang at image and doing all kinds of stuff and then and so i got a lot of those layouts here i got all of norris saga which is like six issues that's like now let me i see a lot of people bought original art already yeah and they want me to put more up there so i'll be probably doing that tomorrow put up some more original art on there uh the jennifer Connolly sold now i hope she's got a good home well you said you weren't gonna sell color i could see that's color well, no, I'm. That's original art. It, there's no color in the book. Yeah, throw that, the throw that tricks money up here, man. People will buy that in a minute. That's what Ooh. I told him. Yeah. Oh, oh you are talking you about it here. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't. I didn't understand what you were saying because I didn't see this part yet, Michael. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <how I understand. laughs> yeah, get it. He, he, we he have should, to hold Kelsey's either, hand either, at every step of the way, but it's all right. <laughs> we'll get him there. We'll walk him all the way to hopefully Luke 000. Stone took a screenshot of it when you held it up for that split second and we'll put it on there for you. This is all a big scam to get you all to do all my work for me. That's <laughs> that's been my whole life. If I hey, Kelsey, Kelsey, you're you about to, to find out. You need to buy a pickup see, truck so you can uh, I gotta move like next week. So <laughs> this is the see up until now you've been like, Oh, if I want to make money, I've got to draw pages. Welcome to the new world oh, yeah. of I can make money off things I've already done. And I can just yeah. make money while I'm asleep. Well, it's this is, I mean, game. this is a, a big part of this too, is to, um, because I'm, I'm not going to be doing any more work for the man. People like Aaron Lepresti, you know, mm. telling me what to that do, costume. color it, color this, color that. I'm be like, okay, yes, sir. Yeah. But not anymore, pal. Not anymore. Once I'm done with Aaron Lepresti. I'm doing my own thing. I'm drawing Anna pictures 24 seven for the crowd. You're good at it. Like I immediately, like you're the only person she doesn't go freak out and say, that doesn't look like me. This looks like Anna. She didn't like this one either. I think she said she looked fat in it, but I'm like, I like that. You got a little meat on the bone. Oh, look yeah, good. <laughs> no one's complaining about that picture. Except you should Anna. make that a, a magnet mm-hmm. as well. Kelsey, that uh, I'm fucking drinking. Oh, good yeah, idea. I really do right like on a fridge. Hey, give me a give me the name of your puzzle guy. I'll make a puzzle out of it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that would make a great puzzle. I don't know. But yeah, let's. Um, it'll, it'll be three pieces. It'll. Be I would say. Either, <laughs> can I say something? Maybe. Um, hold on. Next week, this thing will be on everything. Like it'll be on pens. It'll be on uh, mouse I'll pads. Do it too. You know. Somebody I'll, sent me these. I'll get a printful account. And go to town. Somebody sent me these years ago. Coasters. Hey. Uh, yeah. 
Then yeah, you know, see, there you go. That 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 makes would sense. be a perfect coaster. Look, it's like got the thing. Yeah. He sent me a bunch of different like Cecils and all of us and just pictures. And uh, I was gonna make some, some prints. I was gonna make some prints to bring uh, as a con exclusive to. Uh, well, I don't know if I could make it exclusive because it's been sold other places. Uh, but the Anna the Anna poster. Because uh, you're going to be there, and I, I guess Anna's not going to be there, right? She's I have, I, I gave them away with the campaign, the, those posters. Yeah, but I, yeah, that's right. I got, one, yeah, I saw. But one I'll one bring, one. I'll bring a bunch of them if you want to sign them and give them out or sell. Yeah, them. okay, yeah, I think so. All right, I'll bring a bunch. All of right, them. fine. I'll make something else, Cecil. Jesus. No, no, no. <laughs> you can sell them and and sign them, man. That's fine. How many you got left? A lot. All right. Because because they they, they uh. Cha ching. Yeah, there's a ton. I, was like, I oh. thought I was going to have to actually pay for it myself. Way to go, Cecil. <laughs> you, you can, can buy me a drink. It. How about that? All right. Deal. <laughs> Begrudgingly. I'll buy uh, you like, oh, yeah, I'll buy you at least at least two. How about get that? Get me a Zima. We'll, we'll call it even. <laughs> uh, Mo Sislak says, Cecil, stop spanking it and share Zia. I did. I did. <laughs> Hold on, Both me... things. Hold on, I have to go to back to Zia Watch. Uh, this is a twenty four seven. We keep track of her latest moves and make sure she's up to no good. Yep, still naked. No, she just went off the air. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, does she get naked? I mean, on her OnlyFans, yeah. Hmm. I don't. I don't have it, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you she want gets the like link, it. Kelsey. Yeah. No. 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 I got it. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably it's probably in her YouTube. I'm sure. Yeah, underneath. But um, I don't know how. I never actually looked at um, her stuff. I don't know. It's kind of weird. You know, D. Barry says, "Send the link." <laughs> but uh, I think That's what the uh, mods are for. I don't think she does explicit. I'm not sure though. I don't think so. I hope not. Sweetie pie. Uh, Mo Sislak, Cecil, stop spanking. I got it. Okay, I'm not spanking it. Five day, five times a day is my limit, so don't worry. Uh, J Bomb a fan. The uh, uh, the above average savage says Kelsey's cam has permanent tobacco lens filter. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it <laughs> does look pretty distinguished. Let me rub. Yeah, it's a little blurry. Let me rub it off here. Maybe we can get it clean. There we go. All right. <laughs> I'm all sweaty, man. It's freaking hot. All right. So if anybody wants to see. Into the mind of Kelsey Shannon. See uh, his thought process, his layouts, his incredible skill as an artist. Layout junkie. True master. Kelsey is a master. There's like uh, two pages of work and then like a bunch of pages of boobs. It's hmm. uh, yeah, directly like into the, the mind of Kelsey. <laughs> 10, 000, if you want to see 10,000 pictures of Anna's boobs, please <laughs> check out this book. Buy this book. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. The uh, the link is right in. It's pinned at the top. As uh, Michael's is pinned up there as well, um, and I'm sure the mods are dropping it. And let's see. Did we sell anything, Kelsey? What do you think? I think we got over twelve thousand. I, yeah. I trust, I trust people here. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay. Holy smokes. Well, well all right now. Wow. Dude, Eight, is this the Cecil bump? I've heard about the bonk, Bancroft bump, but this is the Cecil bump, which used to be ketamine, but now it's just. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Cecil. I thought it was lymphoma. But... Slip into <laughs> after the bump. <laughs> Russell Hall says, "Why don't you get a pair like Zia's? Maybe Peaches wouldn't feel the need to step out on you with that home wrecker <laughs> if you fixed yourself up a little." I'm trying. It's too late. <laughs> You can see he's posting pictures every day on Twitter, he's trying to attract pictures, but I'm invisible to him. <laughs> Does he even have a Twitter? Have he we probably block, Twitter? He probably goes on his phone and blocks all my accounts. <laughs> Doesn't he can't stand the competition? I'm start looking up peaches on Twitter, see if I can find him. You'll find a thousand girls named Peaches. That's what you're gonna find. No, it's the one guy, maybe, right? Or maybe is there little we is there something we don't know about Peaches? Maybe <laughs> There's nothing I don't know about him. She looks uh, like Gates McFadden. He, <laughs> like, Peaches is Gates McFadden. You broke <laughs> code. It's a gay wedding we're going to. Uh, 
Miss uh, Mr. Wonderful for ten dollars Australian. Cecil, I've missed your awkward yet tender manliness. On another note, have you shipped everything? I'm still waiting, but anxiously, but patiently. They are actually going to Australia, where I, uh, this yeah, guy so over they're there. They're right here. They're right oh. here. They're within reach. I can see them over there. Um, Why aren't they in his reach? What are you waiting on, Bancroft? Bancroft well, is not waiting. Like, it's I've had a very busy week. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I've got Mel, that's my wife, she is on the case, and uh, they will be going out ASAP. Oh, this this okay. number the three boxes, it's a lot of stuff. Was she named so after Mel Gibson? Yes. All Australians named Mel were named after Mel Gibson. That's well, that was a big She's show. She's French, so no. Oh, okay. Mel Torme. No. Her, her full name is Melvin. Mel, <laughs> <laughs> Melvin, yeah, Melvin, yeah, Melvinia, Melvinia. Mel yeah. Send all your complaints to Michael Bancroft. That's right. He's got him. He's, he's, he's my man on the ground in Australia. So that was good. <laughs> was able to drop ship to him, and then he's it's much cheaper if he said than you know. Uh, Cecil's got the right idea. It's, it's out of my hands. So. It's like thirty-five to seventy-five per package to send from the U.S. to Australia. It's not workable really so yeah and if anyone else out there i've been telling everyone because it's win-win for me i have a quota with my you know with the australia post i have to keep up so if anyone else so in a way i'm doing do you a same, favor yeah yeah i mean so i'll wait, still did charge you, did, you but did you send him like a big crate of them or something or like how, three boxes pay like one? yeah jeez man well, how much was that phil did i don't know oh phil did I don't I know. Phil, say, maybe, Phil, maybe, Phil maybe. marks everything up. He's like, this drunk isn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Him and his brother just bought a boat for some reason. They're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Driving through Chicago in a Lamborghini. Well, I was just and thinking the, the number way... plate is Cecil paid or something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Cecil pays. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make it make it worth your while. Everybody from Australia should op should order like at least three boxes. Yeah. Then That's it's it. like it's obviously not as expensive. Then, so Mr. Wonderful, like I said, uh, um, any complaints, please focus them like a laser onto uh, Michael Bancroft. Uh, I am invoking the law of not it no backsies right now, which is, I believe, ironclad in Australia. <laughs> oh, he's in the same city too. Uh, where whereabouts in in Melbourne are you, Mr. Wonderful? Right, he's outside your window. Yeah, <laughs> no, is that who's been banging on my door? <laughs> Why don't you pick it up? Go pick it up. I'll send you Michael's address. That would be, so, <laughs> that'd be so funny. Excuse me. I'm here for my uh, cash grab book. Oh, just let me see where I can find it. Uh, Lisa JC says, Lisa JC became a YouTube member. Wow, thank you so much. Mm. Awesome. What does she get? <laughs> oh, I just got a message. Lisa JC just canceled. Her oh, okay. yeah. oh, wow. wow. <laughs> It didn't last long. Orishima Ataru says, Cash Grab opening had the funniest CG moments. Yeah, the, I, I, I I had to take that one down because really so many people didn't get... I got to find that one and put it back up. We, we maybe... God. A super yeah. cut would be amazing. Just the, you know, clip it down to see you progressively get drunker and more belligerent. I mean, you were really hammering it at <laughs> one point. It was crazy. <laughs> I, said to, I said to Ethan, step in my office. <laughs> You're fucking fired. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Good times. Uh, don't call me Junior for two dollars. Says had a great time hanging with you on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. Garden Garden uh, State Comic Fest was a fucking blast, man. Everybody was uh, having such a good time. I too too much of a good time. I'm I'm on a I'm on a month long dry. I'm doing dry. July I started on the 25th. I'm going to go to the 27th because that's uh, who were you sharing something, Kelsey? Yeah, we were talking okay. about this. So I was going to share the end of the that whole saga. <laughs> what were you going to say? You want to finish what you were saying? Oh no, um, I'm I've been on such a two week bender between the week before I was at uh, Frank Chrissy's uh, husband's bachelor party, then the wedding, mm. then the con. It's been like over, you know, two or three weeks of fucking just drinking, 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 eating and fucking 
I, just, on, on I barely camera. made it home yesterday. That's why I was supposed to do a stream with Michael during the day. I was like, I was at death's door. I was like, all right, I'm <laughs> taking off 25th to the to like the 27th. I'm gonna do two cheat days, Fourth of July, and um, I got. I'm doing a show in the city uh, on Compound uh, Media Network for, and it's a whiskey Wednesday. Wednesday, so we drink one day on air. So those those are my two cheat days, but I added two days to instead of the 27th to the 27th, I'm doing the 25th to the 27th, two cheat days. I'm going to stick to it. I need it. I need to. It has been a brutal three weeks. You're going to stick to it for at least those two days. I, I'm not going to be 38 forever. I'm going to be 39 come this August, man. Fucking, <laughs> it starts to catch up with you. It's getting old. I mean. Yeah. You can feel it. I feel it in my bones. All right. Here's a little blast You'll be from the 40 in another 20 years. Yeah, don't call me <laughs> don't call me junior, man. Yeah, definitely a good meeting, man. That was fun. All right, let's see what you got here, Kelsey. Run. It's a hell of a trip. Cecil doesn't remember any of this. No. <laughs> I remember coming back and realizing I had to fulfill the the uh, campaign with no money. So I was giving out <laughs> hand jobs two at a time underneath the 59th Street Bridge for months. <laughs> it was good times, man. Huh? Back when you had hair. Yep. Well, that was a wig. I was in a disguise. <laughs> gone. There you go. That uh, looks so young and beautiful there. I want to, I want to watch that movie. <laughs> it's it's a great old. setup. It'll be made. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got that video where you were on the island too, but that's not as good. You lost like, all your money then. <laughs> oh, we did the thing where I was where I was doing a uh a rev, a, like a revolution on an island down in uh yeah that's the one <laughs> you want to see that one? <laughs> well you got to do the unsolved mysteries one first uh we we also got to take a look at uh michael bancroft's campaign oh whatever i know that you hate <laughs> sharing the spotlight with anyone <laughs> hmm. Ooh, bancroft yeah but yeah. Well, bancroft what do you guys are here, you're sharing mm -hmm. uh, yeah i just wanted to uh perth comics found the uh the george lucas anna um, oh, okay. Kelsey did. Oh, oh look at that. That's perfect. Oh, She's in heaven. That digital? That might be digital. All right, I got that. Yeah, it looks before. like it. <laughs> look at her. She's so happy. Perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, that's going in the book. That's good. <laughs> I'm one of a yeah, special. So grab that from Perth thing. if you can't find it. He's he's found the. That is her dream. <laughs> Right on, Perth, man. That's great. I like how he's all like, "Oh, what do I do?" Yeah, is this again? Oh my god! <laughs> Why does this keep, keep happening to me? She keeps showing up at my door like a cat, wanting to sleep in my neck. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the outfit, the slave girl outfit. <laughs> yeah, you are a times. true uh, caricaturist, Kelsey. Like cozy. Mm. Oh my God! People like this. You want if, if this is the stuff you're looking for, get in on that campaign. That will be in there in the picture. It's it's an heirloom, something that will be on your bookshelves or coffee table for decades. And uh, as people come over and flip through it, they will look at you and say, "What the fuck is wrong with you? What, are you <laughs> what kind of weird shit are you into?" It's a story piece. Yeah, something a conversation starter <laughs> or Net ender. Depending yeah. on how you know. <laughs> that's the sweetest cut of the mm. whole body is the neck meat. <laughs> yeah. It's most yeah. tender, juicy. When we were young, we couldn't afford turkey for uh Thanksgiving. So mom would give us a stick and we'd beat a swan to death and we'd all fight over the neck. Best part. <laughs> Yo. Uh let's let's share. Let's share the lucent. Please do. Paint the yeah. dream. This Painted is Death. Hot. Waking Dream was the first one. Oh, Painted sorry. Death I just, I just uh, com conflated the two. Sorry about that. Didn't Maybe that's the copies? third book. I don't know. 
Hmm. Combine the two. Yeah. So I did what uh, I did what Ripper did, I suppose. Went onto my own site. So it's a crowdfund on my own site. If you click on that, uh, go to campaign there. Um, that button. You still got work to do. There you go. There we go. <laughs> We're there. And uh, you scroll down a little bit. And you can see the deep. Hey, um. Whoa, there it is. Thirty-five thousand. Yeah, yeah. And I just announced a uh, forty thousand uh, dollar stretch goal. Is the um, I'll be putting UV spot onto the cover. So the cover has, you know, sort of Ella is the main character. She's kind of falling down, but you look at it, she's actually falling up into mm. the sky. So it's all that's so the loosen is all really kind of mind bending, trippy. It's got to do with dreams and. Um, is that something powers. stats out? We were looking down from a roof at her falling, but we're on the ground watching her getting sucked up into the sky. Hmm. That's it. That's it. Ah. And uh, yeah, so all those windows will be, uh, they'll have a nice UV spot gloss on them, but uh, everything else oh. will be in matte. So it'll be it'll look really nice. Yeah, I did that on the first book. I, I had a stretch goal for, uh, so I've actually got it here. So that was the first one, the uh, the first edition there. You can see how it sort of. Ooh, blow them up. Similar Let's check kind it out. of concept. So is this your feature? Um, Sorry. It's, it's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go. Yeah, so there's a little bit, it's to be similar to that. Now, is yeah. this the fe your feature thing? So you get all th three uh, books? That's right. They're the, they're the three new books that haven't been printed yet. So that's the Painted Death soft cover, Painted Death hardcover, which is an oversized hardcover. If you want to see the, uh, the scale... It's sort of like that. Like that European kind of style. There. Like yeah. Bonda Destiny. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that the hardcover's oversized. And if you haven't read a comic in oversized hardcover yet, you haven't lived. You, t you hear me, Kelsey? You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. There's something about I've never having lived. that larger format. It's just, there's something special about it. But uh, yeah. I have uh, Superman um, versus Muhammad Ali in that. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're the classic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, so there's also Waking Dream, which is the first book in hardcover as well in that bundle. I think that's uh, 95. So on the way, so this is my own site. So if you scroll oh, wait, down. So these two are hardcover. That's right. Yeah. Hard, two hardcovers and the soft cover all in one um, bundle there. Now, I can't read this. What does it say here? This is Waking. Yeah. Which one, which, what's the title of this one? Uh, so the one on the left uh, with yeah. those big uh, statues that's painted death and then the one with the guy walking down the stairs that's waking dream. okay so this is this yeah. one not the the uh oversize this is the same book the, right? yes yes so the two hard covers are oversized and then the oh, the gotcha. the soft cover is is you know normal standard um comic book size but it's 100 pages the second book is 100 pages the first book was 60 and uh, so if you buy that bundle you're getting 160 um pages of lucent Ooh. to read through and do you know the artist personally that that did this <laughs> i do i know him quite well it's me <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i do i this is my story uh it's the only thing i do uh i write i do the art i do the colors and we will have a stretch goal probably after the forty thousand to pay for uh, eric weathers to letter it he lettered the first book so this is a massive book. It's a hundred pages. It's a big investment to uh, fork out that kind of cash. You know, I'm starting to think Eric Weathers has like a monopoly on the uh, on the alphabet. <laughs> he might, but I mean, no, I mean, now he's getting he's, into the he's game. He's down to a stretch goal now. It's like if you want to read this book, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? If you want to actually have words in this thing, you pay. <laughs> you get, you know, I'm not just putting letters for nothing. You kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna have blank pages if you want to. Did Kelsey freeze? We, I know. I was like, is that my, sometimes my, uh, my headphones drop. Yeah, out. I, it's like, no, no, it's Kelsey. Crazy. See anything in this book. No. You gotta, it's a stretch goal. That's yeah, great internet. Jeez. I like <laughs> that. It <laughs> caught up and sped it up. So you know, up. right. <laughs> it it, it caught right, right off where you left it and it just sped it up. <laughs> <laughs> You're like turning into max headroom now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. let's see your t-shirt uh, got a t-shirt as well oh yeah, crazy wow yeah i'm really happy with that design too i did That's that like a mondo you know, poster or something a That's few sweet. days before um 
a few days before I, uh, you know, the campaign went live, which that's why I was staying up 24 hours to get the site ready. But uh, I don't know, I'm oh, really happy with how that came out. That looks great. Yeah. Oh, I'm loving uh, the like, two colors, man. So good. Yeah, sick. yeah, yeah. And I'm getting that properly screen printed. Oh, three colors. On, see, on a really, like... you know, really nice t-shirt, combed cotton, most likely. So it's really nice feel and everything. Um, and they're available in sizes small to 5XL. Haven't sold any smalls yet. Um, you know, <laughs> only 5XLs? <laughs> a, few, a few 5XLs, yeah. A few 5XLs, but uh, no, it's going to look great. Yeah. See, that's the ultimate comic, comic shirt. 5XL black. That's the uh, traditional comic book garb. Yeah. It's like the uh, the shirt that uh, John was holding up the other day. And yeah. Tisa was like, oh, it's a comforter, is it? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I sent, where is John? Is John Malin in the chat? Uh, uh, he has, a, he has the link. Uh, yeah, Anna has the link too. Uh, but uh, I sent it because I put in a Jack show for everybody. So, um, what was I saying? I sent John a gift for his birthday. Hopefully, he got it today. Oh, it's a little maybe, late now, Cecil. Maybe you know. he'll maybe he'll wear it on the show. He's an on time or never kind of guy. It's like no. What'd if you get him? You, a shirt. Um, I got him a t-shirt. Mm, safe. If you click that uh, sideways thing there, that little uh, you know to go to go to the right there. Uh, on those on those campaign packs, see, there's a little arrow there. Here, you can. If, I don't know if you can scroll over. I can scroll over because I have a trackpad. I don't know if you do, but um, there's a little arrow underneath that, so you can click sort of. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Ah. Um, so that's how you kind of filter through the uh, campaign packs. And what I've done is I put up bundles, and essentially the whole thing is, the bigger the bundle, the cheaper the books are per book. So you get a little bit of a, you start to get a $5 discount, then a $10 discount, and then eventually it gets up to a pretty significant discount. Um, and this whole, so I've got a bundle that has everything on there, all the books, including a, um, an ash can, which is, this hey. is ash can of a next comic that I'll be doing. And I'll hold um, it up. Yeah. So it's a little 12 page ash can. It'll just be black and white. Um, you know, nice. no line, no uh, words or anything in it. But what I'm doing on it, it's they're all head sketch covers. So depending on how much, like what perk you spend, is it kind of hard to see? So shiny. I'm drawing them in these yeah, yeah, yeah. shiny metallic uh, inks here. Yeah. God, that screen is so light. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's a bronze, silver, and a gold tier. Nice. And yeah, people are loving the gold. Actually, the bronze at the moment is the. Um, is the uh is the rarest one but uh yeah people loving the gold and that 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 one comes with all the books so you just got to uh pick you know which one you want bancroft is always coming up with something freaking try something new you know we'll see how we go don't tell me uh, what yeah, to it's do. been it's good being good it's been good because uh, <laughs> i wanted to have something hand drawn on it on the campaign oh. for me um mm. that everyone could get i already sold the cover i sold the original t-shirt art uh, i sold a bunch of sketch cards uh, i'll be adding more every week but um you know i wanted to have something on there for while the campaign was live so they'll most likely only be available for 30 days um so if you want them you know you got to kind of get in there quick and um and uh yeah i'll uh, put them all together and draw them up for you and i was just thinking we go. <laughs> all right I'm so the, go the gold the gold the gold gives you the soft cover of both and the hardcover of both and the and That's the right. uh, ash can okay. and the ash can and i also want to say um you know the cool thing about doing it on your own site you get to do things you can't necessarily do on other sites so um this site has if you're uh in if you're not in australia so if you're pretty much anywhere else in the world including if you're in States, a place that actually exists <laughs> um it's a 15 dollars flat shipping rate so if you're just getting one book, okay, that's a little bit expensive, but you're getting other stuff you can add to your cart or whatever, it stays 15. It never goes up. Um, so even you get that big bundle and a t-shirt and whatever, it'll be $15. Now, if you mm. back and then you want to back again, uh, you know, a second time, I'm not going to make you pay shipping twice. Type in free shipping into the checkout and it'll give you free shipping, but that'll only work if you've already backed you're an existing backer so just say you decide oh, i want to get a t-shirt i want to get a puzzle at some point because i'll be adding puzzles 
uh, yes. as the pages get finished, then um, yeah, just type that in and tell and us about uh, the Rod Looper original art here. Yeah, so this is that this is the ash can. So the book that we're doing together, um, Rod and I, is called The Lucent Fractured Mind, and it will be coming out after Painted Death. We're working on it right now, um, and it's a 32-page action comic set in the same universe you know same characters and everything it's sort of like a side book that i can do while i'm working on my main books so i can you know employ other artists i will get a colorist um but uh rod is a phenomenal artist he's doing this mm -hmm. all traditional and uh some of these arts are just absolutely some of these pages are absolutely crazy uh, he, up until now he's sort of been underselling himself i said rod stop selling pages for 200 300 bucks you're like a you're a legit artist, man. So I, I said, mm -hmm. let's put them up for 500, see what we can get. We, I put five up on day one. They sold out within 30 minutes. So nice. I put another five, five up. We've already had one sell. Uh, they'll, these ship separately. So they'll ship direct from Brazil. Um, so you will have to pay extra shipping for them. Mm. But uh, yeah, you know, traditional art, 11 by 17 on the uh, board. Yeah, he's and a, this book, is really good. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's a real deal. His works on so many books is just you know I'm so happy that he's finally kind of getting the uh, recognition that he deserves. Great mm. guy too. How far do American dollars go in Brazil? A long way. Good, long yeah. Way. But I, I, this guy I, a I, warlord I, before it's over. <laughs> I said to Rod, you know, he he gave me a page rate, and it's not cheap. I mean, and I said no, I I want to pay you a, a decent page rate because I want you to be happy because you know if we start to build this thing where okay rod draws the side lucent books i want to you know, make sure he draws all of them mm. uh, mm -hmm. so there's that consistency I like these teeth getting kicked out over here yeah <laughs> and there's that that character down the bottom there i said rod i want a character in this that's like um brick top from snatch oh yeah uh, you know like a, oh. a british um yeah, you know, yeah gangster with the scarf on and everything he just did him perfectly i nailed it, it. Yeah, but that book won't be coming out until after Paint to Death. Uh, but I thought, hey, let's start building the bars, put an ash can out, sell the original art, um, you know, stuff like that, uh, and you know, get the, get the word out. Uh, I, I also have puzzles. I do puzzles. Uh, one of the only people who do puzzles. I don't know I like puzzles, and uh, you know, we we did that with the kids, we did it with the family, and yeah, these are actually you know more popular than I thought they would be. We kind of did them at first as a lark, but I think I've sold probably 60 puzzles or something wow since I started holy doing smokes them. um so oh, puzzle yeah, fans out there there are they're out there hashtag puzzle gate you know who you are puzzle gate. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's actually a there's actually the puzzle scene is way bigger than the comic book scene that probably is pretty depressing to, for a lot of people to hear but the big puzzle channels have millions of subscribers did you get, uh, and can they, you they get, do puzzles. are you going to get on there? Are you going to get, uh, I don't know. I probably should reach out and say, of course. I think you should. I got a puzzle for I'm you. The puzzle. It comes with this puzzle game. Book. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, wait, are you comics gate? You Nazi? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, we don't accept your kind over here. And this is clean puzzle world. Oh, this one looks but, good. Uh, I like, I like this. Yeah. That was yeah. my first one. They, they come out great. And this is the first time I'm actually, I used to drop ship them direct from the, uh, the company that makes them over in Latvia, but uh, just you know, I don't know, I don't know what it is, inflation or uh, currency exchange rates. I'm actually getting the puzzles shipped to me, and I'll ship them out, so they'll go out with your book now. That's the um, first image I ever saw of yours on Twitter. It was floating around, and I was like, "The fuck is this guy?" You know, I immediately <laughs> like took notice. Wait a minute. Yeah, that was the purpose of that. I was like, "All right, yeah. I'm going to spend a month on a double page spread to just kind of have a promotional." um you know a promotional image out there for me i not all of my pages look like that and i did another one for this book uh that i, I don't know people might have seen around out there it's of the eiffel tower just mm. a you know a, a kind of big splash page image um oh, no, i know i'm weird i like drawing buildings i like backgrounds and stuff i get buildings are good for puzzles thing. i like puzzles that are really like hard to do we don't only do yeah, well, like some of these are some of these are pretty pretty difficult because you know they've got uh, sort of large areas of um a texture or something uh but uh yeah 
we uh like <laughs> we've only done the 500 piece puzzles here but some of these guys are buying a thousand piece or even two thousand piece if you mm. click at this here there's a little puzzle details drop yeah, down here yeah. under there um it says in that, puzzles oh it says if you scroll down the uh the approximate completion time is 15 to 20 hours so <laughs> it's for like proper puzzle mad lads life is enough of a puzzle for me i don't need to be messing yeah, around that, no that's puzzles. Your, I, mean, I don't know if i have 20 <laughs> hours to d dedicate to a puzzle but if you know people do um uh God what is that. uh cash converters or saint vinnie's is that an australian thing hmm. yeah vinnie's is uh it's like uh do you guys have the salvation army or um, yeah 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 you know it's just like you go to buy people just give their stuff and then they buy them they sell them for cheap you get second they got a lot stuff of puzzles in there. there you go yeah we got some stores like that where you go in there and you could buy stuff pretty cheap um i don't know i can't think of any of the names from them right now <laughs> they're great if you want to have a a wacky costume to wear on a stream and you want to just spend 20 bucks on them or something like a ruffled shirt like a... maybe <laughs> <laughs> a manly uh a manly buccaneer shirt yeah yeah something like that <laughs> goodwill that's goodwill. what we have yeah yeah that's it yeah, yeah goodwill goodwill and salvation army we had here. thrift shores yeah we call them we have we have salvos and vinnies everything's got to be a little nickname in australia hmm I was watching something about Australia today. I forget what, oh, they electrocuted a 99-year-old lady with a stun gun. Did she, well, <laughs> did she survive? Oh, no, she died. Did oh she? God. Oh, no, I feel bad for laughing. No, because somebody sent me, you know how uh, Malin is always talking about getting a slave catcher? You know, that's one of the, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the big hook. One of, one of these things uh, <laughs> yeah. for, uh, for, for grabbing... <laughs> They had them on, like, this is like Planet of the Apes, you know, they had this shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, somebody was like, they read the story of the them electrocuting. It was a 99-year-old woman who was just, like, shambling through the halls of a nursing home with a, with a knife. But she wasn't being threatening. They, she just wouldn't. She's probably just gonna yeah she's you can a burst a wind could knock you over at 99 so they didn't want to hurt her so they used a stun gun and it just killed her like instantly so Jeez, man. they didn't yeah. want to just her. take we the just knife off her. it you could have yeah. probably walked up but you know smack the knife out of her yeah head. i mean you know, what are you, you doing probably, here lady you probably so so this guy decided to he's like he wanted to make a a device somebody sent this to me yesterday on twitter they were like watch this video so he spent all this time making basically that but it like clamps down on, so you could grab <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that like not violent people that you still have to <laughs> subdue like you can't you'd use the stun gun on somebody who's really strong and coming out yeah, yeah, yeah. but someone who's not fighting but you still have to like hold Man, i hope this is like police issue where they got like you know belligerent like drugged out people just and, then, and then they're like holding them back with this <laughs> one guy's Mel, Mel in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mel's in the chat and she says she was making toast in the middle of the night with a butter knife and she probably got confused as to where she was and oh, oh no, so terrible. a 99 year old woman in a nursing home with a butter knife got a, they had to hit her with like 65,000 volts Oh, that, well, they needed that room for the for another lady. So, yeah. <laughs> this place is getting crowded. Like, yeah. yeah, don't be gentle. <laughs> Take her down Crazy. with extreme prejudice. <laughs> uh, so. I I, I mean, I guess that's not the best story for Australia, but that's the one. I know. <laughs> follow that up. Right. Uh, <laughs> just, anyway, just, uh, uh, yeah, comic books and yeah, uh, painted dream, painted nightmare, uh, painted nursing home, <laughs> electrocuted <laughs> death. Yeah, yeah. So. Now, are there any uh, less horrifying stories from Australia that we can use to cleanse our palate? <laughs> I don't know. It's all a bit of a. It's all turning into a bit of a comedy. Hey, hashtag, it's good news here, that but... that uh, that last shark attack was in Egypt. How about that, huh? <laughs> Take that. Take that. World <laughs> thought it was going to be Australia. I don't done. know. I stopped watching the news uh, 
over here during the lockdown. I was like, I think I've had enough of. Uh, <laughs> oh, know, are we done with Lucifer? communist oh, propaganda? Look. My bad. Yeah. Uh oh. I think when you share, it fucks up your computer. So it's too much for that. Uh, uh, maybe his computer's overheating. It's too much for the Commodore sixty four. I mean, it is. A, was it was, was cool just for share this bit. the unsolved Cecil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You uh, when you share, it freaks up your computer. All right. Well, let's share it quick. Oh, well, Tonight on Unsolved Mysteries. <clears throat> oh shit! Quarter of a million dollars. Somebody did it. Yes, yeah, Cecil, you're welcome. Like, listen, listen, I just want to take the he moment. Finished. <laughs> Cecil, that is back in here. Cecil, he will leave. Well, he said he was going to take off. So he he said his cab was waiting, remember? <laughs> oh, I just left the, the show. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you did. did. You don't remember this? He's an arrogant person, very cushy, very demanding. He was having a lot of fun, <laughs> taking a lot of money, jetting around, living a high lifestyle, gambling in Vegas, flying over to Israel. He was enjoying himself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. He was deeply into kicking sex. I pledge my master my complete obedience. There's so much greed in this case. There's so much money. God, look at you there. spent at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. 25000 on a Bahamas vacation. How far would he go to protect his sinister secrets? <laughs> ah, good time. We'll also bring you an intriguing up the last season story about reincarnation. <laughs> Can we truly experience a past life or is it all in the mind? <laughs> Join me. Perhaps an update on reincarnation, like, like it's a hard hitting story. <laughs> we also have an update on reincarnation. <laughs> we got the latest on the reincarnation uh, debate. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> there are some freaky, just in. There are some freaky reincarnation stories out there, you know, where <laughs> where this kid this kid grew up really poor in the forties. But and he just like was and and like Oklahoma and like some fucking you know some like dirt farm in fucking Oklahoma and he was just dirt poor and he kept telling his parents he's like I'm not supposed to be here I'm not supposed to be here like this isn't I'm I'm not this and then Is when he was a Hollywood like, actor kid no he was just oh. a kid on living on a farm and then when he was five he was able he was able to say the name of who he was. And they like looked up the person who died like right when he was born. He said who he was. They contacted the guy's daughter and fucking he knew all the details of the dude's fucking life. It was fucking bizarre. Like that's there was there I've was never one, heard that. that's freaky. Yeah. There was one real similar to that where the kid was like, uh, you know, same thing. I don't feel I, like but, I he, but the him. thing is, he was a millionaire in Hollywood. He was a producer. Oh, okay, it was the same guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's now like a poor kid, kid but he has the memory of still being yeah. the rich guy. And he's like, "This sucks. What the fuck am I doing <laughs> on a farm in Oklahoma?" Yeah, that was yeah, a that was hell for him. He had to grow up like, "What the fuck? I just I was just hit it big in fucking Hollywood and." I died of cocaine overdose from this great party yeah. I was at. I don't know I why. Was blowing lines out of the crack of this chick's ass, and now I'm <laughs> fucking pulling up turnips. <laughs> Potato farming. Yeah, because yeah, aren't, you, me, aren't yeah. you supposed to go backwards when you do bad and forward when you do good? So, well, I, yeah. if you look at it like the like the yogis say, you know, like if you're enlightened or you you've hit that point where your soul is like ready to move on. To like the next stage otherwise you're going to be reincarnated because you're not done here for whatever reason right but does that mean that if every single human on earth must have done good things in past lives because now we're people because sometimes you know they say you could come back as a a gnat or something yeah like that if so, you were really right but at some point life. you were doing you were the most earnest gnat ever or like yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you sucked great blood that or year. the best dung beetle any dung beetle ever knew <laughs> <laughs> level finally, up yeah you graduated to human just level up 
I'd cool. be like, fuck, man. I w- if only I was a dung beetle again. This man. sucks. Yeah, I'm a dung beetle. <laughs> man, if I were a gecko, I'd have it made. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, Jim. but and then if you were a really good human, you'd probably come back as a cat or something. Yeah, you just get to lie around the house all day. Oh, no, that wouldn't be bad. Uh, I wouldn't mind yeah. that. Everyone feeds you and takes care of you. That'd be much like Cecil now. Please. That's kind of, yeah, I think I am a cat. I'm not ever... <laughs> I've gotten through life by pretending not to know how to do things. And then people come and just move out of the way. Let me do it. Mm. And I'm, oh, <laughs> I want to see if I can make it all the way to the coffin with that trick. I got some advice a long time ago. I think it might've been my grandmother. Cause I, I was trying to sweep the floor and my grandfather came in. He's like, you're doing it wrong. Let me do it. And he started sweeping. I was like, I can do it. And she pulls me aside and she's like, just never do it. No, yeah. she's just like, just let him sweep the floor, you know? Yeah. And then I, and then I was like, Oh, I get it. So just let people who, you know, let them do the work then. <laughs> never do something yeah. so good that, that they ask you to do it again. Yeah. Except, except for yeah. fucking. <laughs> I still haven't really learned to use the washing machine. Oh, now yeah. now we're on the same page. <laughs> Why, what is this strange mechanical robot? It frightens me. Look at Mel, all Mel, Mel, it's shaking and scaring me. Mel, you know me and mechanical <laughs> things. I can't do this. What is fabric softener? <laughs> yeah, which one is it? There's so many. I don't know what, what am I sp- Where do I put it? There's there's all these different Where drawers. do I pour I this ink? I guess ink. No, no, Michael. No ink goes in there. Oh, move out of the way. Or you ruin everything. <laughs> wise. Wise man. Yeah, don't don't learn to make the bed, mow the lawn, dishwasher. No, just do it really bad. Do it like <laughs> That's even I saw, the, I saw the picture of your wife mowing the lawn. I really enjoyed that. That was hey, uh, money from Shane. Thanks, Shane. Look at that. Uh, talking and drawing Thank with you. Shane Davis. Wow, ten dollars. Congrats, guys, on the campaigns. I'll make sure to to uh, give each of these guys a fiber. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be on. Uh, I'll be on Shane's tomorrow on uh, Pimp My Comic. I'll, I'll tell that... you what. You buy me a drink in Tampa, and we'll be okay. All right. I'll get you guys. Well, I think with two fives, I could get you a couple Bud Lights. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see they're giving it away for free on Fourth of July? Oh, geez. Yeah. yeah. What are they going to do with that going forward? Because that brand is done. It's they so found crazy. out that people's limit is hiring a, a, a social influencer who's mostly known for pushing trans shit on kids was not the best way to sell to like working class drunks. Hmm. I was wondering where the line would be because, you know, you they think found I thought the line would have been crossed years ago, but no, it hadn't. And I, I, I'm glad well, we where, found where, it. How much lower can they, this person is literally famous for doing TikToks for kids about like, I'm a girl, you know, just pushing trans shit on kids. This is what you're famous for. Let's hire you. Let's the, the number one selling beer in the fucking world. Let's hire you. Did you see the new ad? Was it was that a new ad we were showing the other day where it shows yeah. all those hardworking American yeah. simpletons uh, like popping beers in their face? Like, oh god, yeah. I'm so stupid, I can't too, open a can. Too Falling dumb to drink. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's it's better. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm not saying it's wrong. I mean, that's pretty close, but damn. <laughs> oh, they're done. It's it, there's nothing they can do. It's over. It's absolutely over. It's all, and the best part is she's saying we have to fix this brand. I love it. It would. I go. What place was it in? It was number one. Mm. This is somebody coming in to fix something that's in first place. If you're in first place, you fucking you keep the same speed. You fucking do what you've done before to get there, which is f- jokey fucking ads like the frogs and the was up and fucking oh, yeah. men of real men of genius. Just do that's what you're fucking that's why you're number one. No, 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 no. We're gonna get a fucking trans influencer. It's like what happened them- in comics back in the day where they're like, Oh, we need to fix comics and, and get more women into it. So we're right. gonna have to completely sort of redo exactly. it all. And now look where they are. They're behind they're behind web Marvel and DC are behind webtoons now. In I mean they just readership they, and money. The the Marvel and DC are rounding er- errors for manga. Like their yeah. th- their sales right. are literal <laughs> literal rounding errors. Like I didn't one fucking whoa. The I hell? actually thought you I actually thought she showed up for something. How the fuck did she get in here? <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Hedrock says, Swoso can inspire this sort of comedy goal. Well, when I get fat again, it'll be funnier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. To- just I'll start making videos again. Fat. Yeah. I'll start making videos of you again then. <laughs> we get some good material. All right. I'll give you good material in Tampa. Believe me. I'll, I, 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 got fu- I got fucked up this weekend in, in uh, I that I think that was a first for me when we were kicked out of the the lobby of the hotel or like the the eating area because they're like we're setting up for breakfast you got to go. Like we were fucking dr- that was me and I think two of Billy's friends were the last three people there. Mm. And uh yeah, it's fun, Wait, fun. How people are saying they want you to get fat again so you're funny. How hard would it be for you to get fat again? Oh my god. Like twenty you minutes. You could do it in like a week. Yeah, no time. Twenty minutes. Yeah. I love to fucking eat, man. <laughs> Give me a day. Yeah, yeah. Good, I was. Yeah. I've. I've lost uh, during the lockdown. I don't know what it is. I guess I do. We we, we did on it on Twitter. It's like two hundred and thirty nine. I think I was, and now I'm one hundred and ninety six or something like that. Um, but I don't really. I don't enjoy food all that much, so it wasn't that difficult what? for me. I wow. just stopped oh eating. Oh my god. I love eating. I'm a, my I'm a, problem is I'm sedentary, like, you know. You, you yeah, ever watch like uh, the mobsters, every movie they just sit and eat? Like it's, yeah, yeah. it's a full time. That's an activity of like, it's yeah. such a big activity. So I just, I just fucking, but I mean, I, I was last week I was like 182. And then when I was in Jersey, I was 192 because I'd just been eating and drinking yeah. for a week. <laughs> It and, was still in your stomach. That's just the and I weighed myself just it's just before I, I got out of shower before I came on the air and I was back down to one eighty five. It dropped down real quick. So <laughs> you know what I mean. It's now it's like I'm gonna I could I could drop weight pretty quick. It's not it's, you know I gotta get down to one seventy. That's where I be. <laughs> one seventy one seventy in the can- sandcastle's done, and then you just knock it over and start over. Just get fucking up to like three hundred pounds. And, but you're like, all right, I did it. Cool. All I did right, it. I can start. It's like Take that it. movie. What's that dodgeball? You know where um, Ben Stiller gets fat again <laughs> uh, at the end of it. I was thinking bucket list, but yeah. All right, let's see if we, can we. Where can I do a refresh? Let's see. Let's see with the Cecil bump, or does it actually just keep moving up in front of us? Or do you? Have yeah, to no, refresh? you do have to refresh. You do have to refresh. I think it already refreshed. I started on uh, oh. yeah, because you've been jumping yeah. around pages. I started on four eleven, so it, it, there was a bump. Nice four, yeah, four hundred eleven. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Didn't Thank it you. say thirty two thousand? No, 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 no. I don't think. It was. Yeah, yeah, no, I no, it was three thousand dollar bump. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Diesel bumps, Thank not just so cancer. Much. Yeah. <laughs> well, from from when I first came on the air, it was at Maybe. it wasn't at four eleven before when I just hit it. No, no. It? You had it. Yeah, I think it was 411. I think it was 411. Yeah, yeah. People are saying in the chat, yeah, it was 411. Thank you, everyone. Thank no, you. no, no. It was, a, it was 311. Oh, my God. This oh, oh wow. Real. Wow. <laughs> Get in on it. That Cecil uh, bump. Get it checked out. <laughs> yeah. There's a yeah, morning a great... to pull for that. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Hold on. A great time hang on oh i lost my place i lost my way yeah S- start from the beginning because uh, eric madved off. sent a super chat that you missed his super chat all right <laughs> chris topher says y'all for creamy or super chunk tulip loves them both <laughs> uh creamy <laughs> what's that in but, relation to uh, they're saying that uh, Anna uh, puts uh, peanut butter on her uh, <laughs> and lets the tulip, the uh, little dog, you know, have a treat. Oh. It's a disgusting <laughs> thing that Chris. Took. <laughs> I don't know. I like I said is, I, I guess Super Chunk could be ribbed for her pleasure, sort of. I don't know. You got to ask Anna. Um, it's not a question I can really answer. Uh, <laughs> Russell Hall, I'm sorry, did you say Peaches is Gates McFadden? Mm. <laughs> you heard it here first. Breaking news and an update on that reincarnation story. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, Martha. Hi, Susan. Wondering when I'll get my replacements. Oh, I sent, uh, 
I sent the I forwarded the stuff to Phil and Brandon. Um, you should not have to uh, be super chatting me to find out. I will. Well, let me just write this down. Even though I'm not drunk, I, it's still better than I write it down. No, uh, no those will be coming out. Uh, They've been busy at, at uh, wrestling matches. Mm. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it might have been like lost because I sent emails about other things and uh, they didn't realize there was something, you know. Ah. Uh, all right. I apologize that you had to ask twice about that. So I'll take care of that tomorrow. Sorry about that. She's not getting anything. Can she hear me? <laughs> uh, uh, hope. She has hope. Yeah. That's all that matters. Eternal. What? What? Can you put a price on eternal hope? Uh, what tier did you get? Because I think you can. Uh, Mad Hap says, "Hey Kelsey, like oh, <laughs> is that Etsy account with the Wizards art piece? Is I oh yeah, that's it. mine with, with with the Wizards piece. Yeah, that's mine. I need to put some more up on there. I got an Etsy. You seem put to that up on some... your campaign for the moment." You seem surprised by that. Also, Kelsey, um, I went to go look for the link to your campaign. It's nowhere on your Twitter. It should be your p pinned tweet. Oh, yeah. I got to go to Twitter. And John Twitter. had the same thing. I went to go look for his sign-up thing. Not on his Twitter anywhere. <laughs> Make it your fucking pinned tweet, man. Rookie mistakes. I will. I'm going to. You're really starting to anger me here. <laughs> I'm busy doing your show. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I was... It's my fault. Uh, Eric Medved says, "Got all your books, Kelsey. Uh, was oh, nice. uh, got all your books, Kelsey. Was the first original artwork I got was Cyberfrog Inked, a sketch of Sal jumping in a pool and a bear in clothes walking down the street. They all smelled like cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I did. Uh, Anna bought me. He a, promises uh, that. <laughs> Anna bought me a present from something you sold for cri a Christmas art piece of like a whore." Grinch. Oh yeah, right. And yeah. Uh, that had a that had a nice cigarette scent to it too. Somebody actually put buy, a warning. Uh, they were like my back put a warning issues. on it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I used to buy back issues off eBay, and yeah, occasionally they'd maybe you sent them to me, Kelsey. I don't know. They were very oh, maybe. rich in tobacco scent. I got them from Cecil, and they smelled like patchouli and leather. I don't know. <laughs> rich, rich leather and mahogany some kind of lotion <laughs> yeah. old spice uh don't call me junior says pompous cecil was colder than van skyver's shower yeah <laughs> that is the best by the way that is the best story i know he didn't do it on purpose but he invites me to stay over and that tells me to use a bathroom that has no hot water i fucking take an ice cold shower I'm done what it evens yeah I was like, I, I guess you guys are worried I was going to ask to stay another night. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good move, actually. Yeah, power move. We have a we have a uh, like a hot water system right outside. You can just turn a single valve and turn he off. He was like, I could just see him like Andrea, kill the heat. Yeah, <laughs> he's like turning. <laughs> you're listening how was your shower oh, cecil oh my god i was like fucking like soaping up like a freezing fucking cold <laughs> so we're having uh we're having tofu for dinner and uh <laughs> oh no no we were fucking ate man he was got he he ordered i don't know man he thought there were a lot more of us than there were apparently because he was ordering uh no he just thought it was you and him <laughs> no we had tom tuttle was there too oh, and man. uh Got cheesesteaks, and then uh, the next morning got fucking piles of egg sandwiches from like a deli, like bacon, egg, and cheese and shit. Oh, man, that was good stuff. You're making me hungry. Yeah. I'm hungry, too. All right, let's go. All right. Uh, <laughs> Eric Winberg says, allegedly, Michael is the Aussie uh, COC what, Coxman. Oh, the Aussie mm. Coxman. Creator-owned mm. comics, yeah. That's oh. uh, sort of our brand for uh, comics. Creator-owned comics over on my channel. You know, we, uh, we say we love the cock over there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Thanks, I just for, took thanks for the warning. <laughs> yes. I always wanted to be a coxman. They Turned told out, me uh, they no. told me I haven't experienced anything until I've experienced the Bancroft bump. But 
<clears throat> oh yeah, I'm let's let's uh, organize means. that. Let's uh, let's put that uh, let's put that down in writing. <laughs> you gonna show me what a coxman you are? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think uh, I think I'm gonna go get the. Uh, I'll be I'll, I'll be giving you a bump in a little while. Oh, I just thank gotta you, go on the friend. dark web and buy a credit card number. Um, <laughs> Eric Winberg, okay, you're the coxman. I like I said, I always wished I was a coxman. Best I could be was a dickhead. Okay, I guess we'll <laughs> yeah. take it. Close enough. Uh, Jay Bomber fan, make this stream uncomfortable and talk about abos. You know that's a great idea, uh, Jay. <laughs> What is it? What's going on with the treatment of abos in your country? Are they still? Uh... Oh. Look, they're trying. It's <laughs> that, there's a situation at the moment where they're trying to become uh, like be treated um, recognized in the constitution. It's called the voice, and I mm. don't know if it's going too well. The, the, there's going to be a referendum. Or what do you something. mean recognized? How would they be recognized? They're not recognized right now. Of course, they're recognized, but they. So some people want it written into the into the constitution for some reason imagine so in the in the united states constitution it said and we recognize that the traditional owners of the land are the native american tribes of mm. you know they list them all off no we Pretty recognize sure the constitution yeah <laughs> we recognize uh finders keepers man that's how <laughs> you know it's so funny like it's everybody's like pushing evolution it's like evolution, no God, evolution. And then it's like, hey, you took over the Indians. It's like, yeah, we had guns. They, they didn't have the wheel. Like evolution. <laughs> it's like, well, not that time. Evolution's bad in that case. It's like, that's, I mean, no offense to the Indians, but you, you, can, you know, the Spanish were showing up with fucking gunpowder. Spontaneous evolution is what that's yeah. called. <laughs> it's the history of mankind. I mean, there's not a single... There's not a single nobody inch of land had, on this nobody planet. who has not been conquered. There's not one guy who's you know one race that's been like, oh, we're fucking top dogs for fucking humanity. And, and you want to talk about like, um, oh well, the British came over and you know started the colonies and everything in the states. <laughs> go look at the history of that island, Great Britain, and you don't have to go back very far to see them getting conquered time and time again. Yeah, they find fucking bags of Roman fucking coins in there all the time from many times that it's been conquered over the years. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, everybody's been conquered, but it's like, it's who was doing it last, you know? It's like, everybody was slaves, too. Mm -hmm. I've been a slave Especially to that Irish. Pussy. Um... <laughs> Orishima Ataru says, Bud sponsored Toronto Pride with new dudes and kid. Yeah, I saw that. That is mm. that was not a fucking power move. But I but what what is weird is a lot of not weird, but a lot of companies took their pride stuff off of their uh like Twitter and Facebook pretty quickly this year. Cause after the Bud Light thing, it was just like all right. Uh mm. Eric Medved says, you ignored my $20 super chat praising Kelsey. I got to it. I didn't oh, did like you it. read that? I did. I missed it. I mean, it sickened me the first time, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> got a book, all your book, and it's a uh, sky bar, a mm -hmm. sketch. <laughs> oh, okay. Running on, not a single compliment for me in there. Like, I'm going to read that twice. <laughs> Jasper Plan 9 says, Cecil, I bought Silence of the Lambs Criterion on your recommendation. Good times. Yeah, I love that. Uh, I love all the uh, extras on that, too. Uh, can you recommend another Criterion release or two Ramones Forever? I have a, oh, I have a bunch. Well, What's that John Travolta movie um, where he's, like, recording sound? Blowout. That's a great Criterion one. Staying alive, these part two to Saturday Night Fever is what you're probably thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, John sent me the Virgin Spring, which was cool. I have Return of not Return of the Living Dead, Night of the Living Dead, which is a really cool criterion. Um, I have Princess Bride, I, I have a bunch, I have to go through it, but uh. Mm. I don't know. I'm not, offhand. Nothing's you know. I can't think of one, but I, I did like uh, I did like the the Night of the Living Dead one, and you get that pretty. You can find that pretty cheap, but it's it's got a lot of extras on there, so that that'd be worth looking at. Get the Killing, Kubrick's uh, early movie. 
Uh, on Criterion, that's a great one too. There you go. The I got a lot of Criterions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta buy, start buying more. It's really getting weird the way they're fucking like starting to edit shit. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. You gotta, you- music will be next. It'll all change. Hmm. You know, everyone had their. Remember that? Actually, Apple did that back in the day, and they dumped a whole bunch of people's itunes library back when people were paying for music and stuff like that and they lost it and or they couldn't they couldn't give it to um someone else or something like that yeah yeah i have amazon music and uh i i gotta get rid of it but it's just simple because i have the alexas like in every room and then you could just say play on play on everything and the music will play on everything around the house which is really easy and uh but they fucking censor every fucking song mm-hmm. you know they were playing like money for nothing where it's like that little faggot with the you know the that whole line from money for nothing is mm. it's edited out i'm like oh my god music is really like hard to listen to now like i'll listen to it on youtube and you'll just be like yeah and then the, like commercial break like right in the <laughs> middle of a fucking song <laughs> ah, well you're a, you, you're a youtuber now things. kelsey just pay the nah no nah, nah. Hey. Or just say, uh, well, Shopify, if you're just in a mood, so you just, you got a song in your head, Spotify, you wanna, Spotify, you know, mm. Spotify. Yeah. Sorry. I get those but they got the commercials time. too in between songs. Yeah. Yeah. You do have to pay if for, you it, pay if you for want, it if you want no ads or anything, but, um, yeah, it'll, you know, if you're just in the mood for any kind of song and then you just hit play on that and it'll find other songs that are in that sort of same space. Kyan Reynolds says, "Can Kelsey comment on proper dog owner discipline? Not on, not on this channel. He can't. <laughs> Last time he did that, stream came down. <laughs> not all of them. No, all of them. All of them kill her dog. <laughs> <laughs> Ones I see. That's how we do it in the south. <laughs> <laughs> we paint with a wide brush." <laughs> <laughs> Minor Zircon for five dollars. Thank you, sir. He says, Cecil, are you trying to pull a Wayne's World at Anna's wedding and run away with peaches into the sunset? Well, I think that would be a, a, a graduate. The graduate would be <laughs> no, no. Wayne's World. <laughs> Wayne's World yeah. uh, is what that's from. You know, the whole yeah. you go to the church and you're banging on the the glass. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Wayne's, Wayne's World, World was actually stealing that from the graduate. <laughs> by the way, just to- <laughs> so you so you don't sound dumb at a party. Uh, <laughs> but thank you for that, uh, Steve Roberts. Uh, for whoa, holy shit! Wow, I'm not drinking tonight, but uh, I'll, I'll take a swig of uh, this fruity drink here. All right, cheap. <laughs> God bless, Steve. Thank you so much. Hi, Cecil. You never sing to us anymore. I haven't heard piss on a rope in forever. I'll tell you what, what day is the 4th of July? Are we doing a show that day? <laughs> Because I'm going to be drinking the 4th of July. Let me see what the... Oh, you mean for Jack show? Yeah, let me see. Is it? Is I that a... What day uh, is 4th of July? I'm pretty sure it's on the 4th of July. Oh, well, don't ask Anna Cecil that question. scheduling in his drinking night. No, I'll schedule in my singing Put that night. in my calendar. Oh, July 4th is a Tuesday with Cecil. Oh, it'll hey. be a late one. We'll do a late show because I'll probably be at a party. Okay. Wait for July 4th and... uh. I think uh, I think I can accommodate that. I'll do a little pi- uh, rendition of "Piss on uh, a Rope," <laughs> but I but doing that sober is just not a. Uh, Cecil, do you want? I don't even remember. I don't remember the lyrics. Fucking sober. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm drunk, they just come right out of my mouth. Thank thank you so much. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, Steve, Let, let's do a refresh. We are at thirty five eight hundred and twenty. Nice. 35, 940. Ooh, yeah. We got to get, let's got, Thank we got to get this at 36,000. 36. And then that's only 4K away to getting this uh, UV spot cover. Uh, thank oh, you yeah. very much, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So those we'll... UV spot covers are not cheap. Someone asked me, can't you put that on the, on the other one as well? Like, I don't know. That's like, that, that stuff is really expensive to do, but it's so worth it. Yeah, did, were we doing on some of the? I think we did. I did it on uh, some of the cash grab stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It looks great. 
Hmm. Uh, Dan Genovese, uh, what's up? I saw him out there. I think I saw you, Dan, this weekend, didn't I? See, so well, fun. Yeah, I did. Well, wow, fun hanging out with you until 4 a.m. at Garden State Comic oh, wow. Fest. P.S. The George Washington Bridge can fuck off all the way. Oh my god, <laughs> holy shit! It's a 90 minute drive from like Garden State to out here in Long Island, it's a very short distance. It took but I did pull over for an hour and take a nap, but it took almost like almost five hours. It was like four hours of fucking trap. Wow. Just, just on the bridge was an hour and 52 minutes on, on Jeez. just, the, yeah, it's fucking insane from so, traffic. Like what the hell? I, they, it's just, a really long bridge. Well, I mean, I, it's, just go I don't do Hudson. traffic anymore. I don't, I don't really have to drive anywhere long distance anymore. So I'm, you know, I'm not accustomed to it. I have no patience. I don't want to be stuck in traffic for hours. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. It was the worst. And then I was, I was falling asleep so bad that I just pulled over in a parking lot and fell and slept for an hour. And then I, uh, cause I, that the night before was the drinking night and, uh, fucking uh I, I i drink like i i pull into to, to dunkin donuts to get two huge black iced coffees and then like there was no foresight there because now i'm in this fucking bridge and i have like 40 ounces of fucking black coffee on my bladder <laughs> <laughs> fucking my I, I was like crying there was like fucking so much water like made it to that rest stop like finally like i had to sit there for almost two hours before i get to the next rest stop dying imagine that stuck on that bridge ain't nowhere to go but i didn't you go off into the hudson yeah to, exactly was George Washington one way out. <laughs> uh, let's see sheila aliens play cecil like fire to, we we played it already we opened the show with it sheila but if he i'll play it if uh if we hit uh 36 000, i'll play it again have we, uh, have we refreshed um, Scribbles? Is, is, uh, is that going up at all? Oh, yeah. Where are we at? I forgot. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll promote for you, Kelsey. I'll... Er, Eric Medved <laughs> says, Cecil, this is the last one so far, so I'll get, and then we'll go back to the campaigns. Uh, Cecil, I still love you in a non-gay way. Bullshit. <laughs> you wouldn't have to say it if it was. I would just assume it. I know, right? By you saying never it, say it, that. Yeah, yeah, man, you're a great guy. You know, not not gay or anything. You I'm gonna, gonna suck your dick, but not in a gay girl, way. So. <laughs> I'm not gay. I just love the way dick tastes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> did that one ever work? Let, right, let's let's see if we got thirty six thousand here. Oh, I I failed you. I'm sitting there. Oh, so I, fa I failed you. All right, let's go to let's go to Kelsey. Mm -mm, share screen. Spence is killing me. Come on. I think uh, I think it's your arteries. <laughs> <laughs> sure, suspense has almost got nothing to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cigarettes and fucking uh, grilled cheese with Miracle Whip. <laughs> Uh, let's see how we're doing here. Oh, jeez. What was it at? 193? It was at Whoa. two. Yeah, it was at uh, two. We got up on like another 300, I believe. Oh, man. Need Fantastic. one more to get to 200. Oh, like a oh yeah. 200 nice backers. even 200. Oh, that'd be sweet. Come on. Somebody in there is on the 200 fence. backer. He, before he seals your envelope, he blow, he'll blow smoke into it. And it's then... 200 pages <laughs> with a 200 backer. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna have a fan blowing around in it when he's doing fulfillment with just a cigarette burning <laughs> constantly in front of it. The two hundred bagger won't have a cigarette hole in the cover of their book. He's gonna make sure <laughs> every copy will have a nice. That would be peanut. great. Yeah. Can you imagine? That's the signature: an actual cigarette hole, cigarette burn. <laughs> That's the Kelsey Shannon signature. That would be great. Hmm. We can arrange that. <laughs> I think you can do it. We have. We'll just have to have to fund a couple cartons. Of, what are you smoking, Marlboro? No, I make my own. They're too expensive now. Everything's you too think expensive. expensive. There, a packet of cigarettes here is is so crazy that the black market in cigarettes here is like so profitable. Black I don't know what they are cigarette. exactly, but 
was that 40 or 50 Australian, which is probably uh, 30, I don't know, something like that, a packet. How yeah, much? The, in New York, they're like 20 bucks a pack. It's like a dollar. Yep. Golly, uh, man. That's it's way all tax. more. It's all tax. It's all it's like tax. Seven and a half, eight bucks up here, down here. <laughs> it ain't uh, that bad, but shit, that's bad. Cecil deserve your thumb, like the stream. Oh, like the stream. Yes, please hit the like button. The love of God. Uh, <laughs> Elsie <laughs> smoke sleeves and yeah. When you say I smoke my own, where are you getting the tobacco from? <laughs> he grows yeah, it himself. <laughs> He's got a little tobacco farm out the back. There's some woods out back my house. Yeah, Been smoking poison oak for like fucking two weeks. <laughs> it grows naturally out. But there. yeah, it's the uh, it's the <laughs> stress is going to kill it, not the. <laughs> homegrown tobacco uh steve giblin says they should be a hundred dollars a pack those are things that kill people all the time i, I keep hoping yeah because they have heart attacks when they see how much they cost <laughs> uh <laughs> why is weed cheaper than cigarettes it doesn't make <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing it's like um beer is cheaper than water a lot of it times is. Beer, is, beer is cheap you gotta fucking get the case of like poland spring and it's fucking more money than fucking a, <laughs> i mean bud light you get for fucking they'll be paying you to get it out of there what was your what was your first initial reaction the first time you saw bottled water at a, like at a gas station or something i was i like, remember what? thinking they're selling water what do you mean they sell water now I know like a lot of people that's dating us because I'm you know I'm in my late thirties. I was just thinking like when was this nineteen ninety eight? What what was this? No nah, mid nineties, <laughs> mid nineties. I I reckon. Yeah. I just remember this is crazy. They're selling well. Water's free out of the tap. Who could? <laughs> Although that's in a... some countries, drinking out of the tap is uh, <laughs> almost a death sentence. So yeah, hmm. probably uh, good for them. Someone's saying uh, smoking doesn't kill. Lies. Smoking kills people because there are no scientific cues and cause and effect. Cues and effect. I guess that's lies. Smoking kills people because there are no scientific cues and effect. Causes. I don't understand. Okay. Well, someone's drinking on my behalf, and I appreciate that. <laughs> um, wait. What's the big uh? So I see there's a Philip, a drunk Philip Morris exec in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, George Gatsis, what's up, George? Hell, the chat, CG, and the host Cecil Kelsey. Are you holding back your awesomeness, or is that everything you got in the book? Oh no, I'm holding back. Yeah, yeah, I can't. I can't uh, lay all my awesomeness on you at once. It's uh, yeah. If you go to see yeah, them, it's a little maximum, much. You gotta, yeah, gotta get grab the book. <laughs> what would you rather do, George? Get fucked by him four times or one time, and he blows his load and comes out your ears. <laughs> you know that first, that last one sounds pretty good, actually. Um, <laughs> Lazarus Arison says, "A kill cancer with Rick Simpson oil." What is that? Rick Simpson oil sounds like the shadiest fucking thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> Yo, I got, I know I'll get rid of that tumor. I got some all. Rick Simpson oil. I put it on you, baby. Where's the tumor? And you press it on. Old Ricky put it on there. It's like you travel around in a, in a caravan, you know, and fold it all out and say, all right, people, come around and see. We Three got breast one. exams. Oh, I see you got a tumor going on. Let me put some Ricky Simpson oil on. <laughs> You're welcome. I just saved your life, baby. Oil them up. Got, if that is, if First that's ten real, are free. <laughs> I, I feel, I feel two for one. <laughs> You pay for the left, I do the right for free. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, Rick Simpson. <laughs> so anybody that's suffering with cancer right now, you might want to go get some Rick Simpson oil. That seems to 
Oh, it's not actual medical advice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably speed things up. Recommendation. I oh, love Rick Simpson. Now. RSO. <laughs> oh, it's already people are saying RSO. It's already got. Oh, uh, <laughs> hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, Robo What you got, Logan? Get go get the robot. Robot testing. <laughs> <laughs> or the uh that you see that my big fat greek wedding he just sprays uh window Windex. cleaner on everything Windex, <laughs> yeah. uh hedrox says made from real fresh rick simpson no, <laughs> <additives>. <laughs> no preservatives straight from the source hey to your to you <laughs> i usually bottle it but you could take it right out the tap baby <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> We're blowing up Rick's whole fucking gimmick. I'm like, shut your fucking mouth! Man. <laughs> You're gonna get a cease and desist. You're I defaming had a good him. Go until that cocksucking cease. <laughs> oh shit! Pure Rick. One hundred proof. <laughs> One hundred proof. <laughs> I mean, you can have it warm. You can have it cold, but it's it's much better warm. It really oh, yeah. gets into the system. <laughs> and it treats the skin. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't get it in your hair. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> can, someone, can somebody Google? Is that a real thing? Or is this person trying oh. to? Sounds like it is. Oh my Google. god! I hope Scotty's watching this. This has got to be like a cartoon. <laughs> Or the don't get it in the hair. I wrote or the eyes. Oh my god, look at him too. <laughs> Side effects are pink eye. Uh, all right. Yes, yes, <laughs> oh my god, yes, you gotta see this. You gotta see it. You found it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> look at his face. Oh, Ricky, you dog. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> it's very scientific. Look. Yeah. But I got it. I even got a professor's hat on. Or, or, is that a, or, is that a, or is that a plantation hat? Why am I wearing this? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's it. This you is all you need, baby. Need one injection of Rick Simpson. <laughs> nah, I like your Rick Simpson. It sounded like he had Jerry Curl and like a yeah. gold tooth, you know. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be black. I feel like they hi Rick hired this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, do, they do the switcheroo. Yeah, I'm Rick Simpson. Oh, did you would you see that stupid that white motherfucker been pretending to be me for years? I got you covered. <laughs> what you mean, baby? Oh, shit. Got all the Rick you need. He cured himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's 400 years old. Yeah, he was. He's, he's, <laughs> oh, no. Are you saying he cured himself from being black? That's where he got that plantation oh. hat from. He's had it this whole time. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Uh, whitewashing. Yeah, I guess I guess that's the uh, the Marvel uh, version of Rick Simpson. Oh no, no, mine is the Marvel. Uh, <laughs> why am I being played by a black guy in the Rick Simpson movie? <laughs> I came up with the cure of. <laughs> I came up with the goddamn cure for cancer, and fucking Denzel Washington's playing me. <laughs> Gotta hit those demographics, baby. Uh, yeah. It comes in a pill too. Oh my god, that's hard. You have to have good aim. 
<laughs> capsule. Uh, all right, let's get let's let let's stop all these shenanigans. <laughs> I've had it. Oh, business. We better have business. 200 goddamn backers. <laughs> well, I'm going to don't make me put my rings on Say, and pull up Rick Simpson on your fucking yes. ass, bitch. Say it is Rick Simpson. <laughs> I'm right. Wait. I'm Rick Simpson, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Take all the oil you need. Oh, there we go. Boom. Hey. Well, now it's not 200. Hey, you're complaining. You, you want to uh, get refunds? Could, guys, is there a refund button? Because Kelsey's up. <laughs> Next you stop, wanted to see yeah. the 200. Zero zero. <laughs> Perfectly balanced. Awesome. Thank you yeah, so look at much. That. Yep. I like that. It's got just <laughs> all the zeros at the end. <laughs> I can refer in the, okay, yeah, let's do that, Caleb. <laughs> Get yourself some Rick Simpson. <laughs> Rick Simpson for ages 17 and up. Somebody wrote. Uh Chris Topher says cancer AIDS cure it with CC salty bitter drops. Hmm. That's the next uh add-on on your next campaign. Mm -hmm. A little a little vial of it. A little goes a long way. Mm-hmm. God, my side hurts so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Would anybody buy my scene? <laughs> that wasn't it's a rhetorical uh, question. I'm asking. Is it, that. <laughs> is it pure? Has it been uh, tainted? I run, I'll run it through a coffee filter. <laughs> well, that'll do. Uh, Selling this stock, yeah. My my socks are a graveyard. The stone <laughs> rigid. <laughs> D Barry has it. You could call it the essence of Dick. <laughs> the souls of a thousand babies. Like here, I'm putting doing the laundry. Turn, turn the water on. Ah! Shut up. Oh, um, all right. They stand, they stand on their own. Yeah, they. Well, I know it's time to wash them when they scamper across the floor. <laughs> they start learning how to they walk. They start carrying themselves to the washing machine. That's when you know it's time. Time for a bath. It runs away like a baby when it's time for a bath. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me, Daddy. <laughs> uh, uh, directly from the Jim Sock. Yep. Now his name is Jim Sock. Yeah. <laughs> you spelled take Jim those. Wrong. You spelled Jim wrong, Mister Wonderful. Capital <laughs> <laughs> J. <laughs> yeah, that's the. <laughs> You know, you know, you know they're ready when you can snap them in half. Yeah, that's who among you know, us has not prime. Who among us has not cleaned out from under their bed, dropped the sock, and had it shatter like a piece of chain? <laughs> <laughs> and when you're young, you think, "Oh yeah, no, no one else knows what that is. That's my little secret." Yeah, <laughs> my little, it's my sculpture garden. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Chris Topher got the downs, or maybe an Aussie. Try Cecil's bowl oil. Oh man, I don't want to quill it. <laughs> quill it, you are down syndrome. <laughs> hmm. Let's try. I, I don't know. I, I I saw another thing on the uh, that they they really are accepting bets on the uh, Special Olympics this year. It is that sports books are covering. I'm, I'm. That's genuinely surprising to me that it wasn't happening. I don't know. We, I, it's just, it must be an Australian thing. We bet on everything. It's not a single thing you can't bet on here. Um, or bet a chubby one on the end runs in the wrong direction. <laughs> 
You go onto any website, you know, just type in anything and there'll be something that you can bet on it. You know, if there's, if there's an outcome, you can bet on it. I bet the coach is coaching him with ice cream. <laughs> so coach, how did you get him to run so fast? Well, gave him ice cream. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh. Is that what they call it there? No, it's still called the special. It's not called the Downs Under in in uh, Australia. No, no, okay. no, no. Would, yeah. well, I mean the Special Olympics. It's it's now it's people <laughs> have lost their arm or I don't know. <laughs> they have those 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 funny legs with the hooks on it. Well, my side hurts so much. Stop it. <laughs> the <town's> under... <laughs> it's a broad church, is what I'm saying. You know, all, all kinds of people. Uh, uh, the Paralympics is what you're thinking of. We're talking about the Special Olympics. Paralympics. Oh, okay. Different. 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 Yeah. Uh, that's more tragic. We're going for the comedy. We want the mm. Special Olympics. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know if anybody knows this, but Special Olympics, do you have to be born with, a, or could could you get in on a head injury? Surely you could. That would be discriminatory if, if you couldn't. And how would they check? What if you're just a moron? <laughs> I actually... I well, he, I actually did um, like a school thing where every week I would go and go to a school like that and help out and there were kids there who were not um you know they didn't have down syndrome or anything like that they were just troublemakers they just sort of stick them in that school yeah that's to teach wonder- them a lesson it's like you're so fuck a bunch of a fuck up that we're putting you in a school for like yeah that's and then most of them are just like this is great i'm fucking top of the class they were they were they were like <laughs> i love it you're supposed to shame them to be like yeah Fuck! Whoa, man! I must have fucked up really bad to be. Instead, they're just like, "This is great. I'm acing everything. I just got an A in coloring." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what red is. <laughs> this is easy. This is way better than that algebra shit they were trying to teach me. Fucking guy next to me was fucking coloring his stop sign yellow. I was like, (laughs) (laughs) I do remember one kid just whipped it out mid class and started going at it. Jack, only one. That's I thought that would be like a nap time. And yeah, the teacher was like, (laughs) "Put it away." You know, she's seen this every day. Come on, you know not to do that. I'm making my Rick Simpson oil. (laughs) 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 All right, let's let's do a refresh. I know it pains Kelsey to see uh, him ever get over two hundred, but sorry, pal. Okay. Oh shit! Let's see. Well, uh, maybe we got to go to three hundred now. That's how it works. Oh no! Oh. It's getting worse and worse. Oh, oh, Further God. away from perfection. Oh well, you guys, you tried. Thank you anyway. Uh, non-pasteurized. Yeah, yeah. You don't want the pasteurized. Uh, yeah, where you don't do you- want the powder. You don't want the powdered either. You want the you know the good stuff. Where do you park to watch the special? All the spot, all the spots are handy. Hmm. That's a time. That's the day when everybody's fighting for the handicap spots, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, why that's I go the there. I go end. there early and I park my car sideways across three of those spots. <laughs> I leave the car running with a pit bull in it and the windows rolled down and fucking blaring fucking music. I'll be right with a note. I'll be right back. Uh, let's see. 
Kelsey's literally in stitches. Great value, great uh, Rick Simpson oil. God, yeah. I'm in pain. I mean, that's... <laughs> right, we're over the we're two hours. So many things tonight. Yeah, I didn't know they had the cure for cancer, but it's uh, Rick Simpson oil. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's go check out Lucent Heart of Darkness. Hmm. All right now, I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> right. I want to draw Rick Simpson so bad. I'm going to draw him right after this show. <laughs> I'm Rick. I'm Rick Simpson, bitch. <laughs> I think you got throat sixty dollars away from thirty six thousand. Uh, your voice sounds a little raspy, bitch. You got throat cancer. Let me apply the oil <laughs> right to the back of it. <laughs> Right on the sauce. Don't you spit it, bitch. You'll get a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> Let it work as magic. Get in there. <laughs> Thank you, Rick Simpson. Uh, I like the other voice. Whoa, Whoa. There we go. We made it. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. See, and you know what, actually? Um, Look at this, all those zeros. If this were... If this were on, I know, right? See, that looks... I get the 28 cents. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know how that works, but... Yeah, and I think it's people backing in different uh, currencies. So... Oh, okay. Slightly different amounts. So if you back in Australian dollars or Canadian or... Oh. You get that amount and then that gets... Um, uh, yeah, whatever. Exchanged to the two US dollars. If this was on Indiegogo, um, this site doesn't count... Uh, doesn't count shipping in that total. So if it were an Indiegogo, it would actually be over 40,000. So thank you very much to everyone. It's crazy. It's, it's only been a couple of days. Thank you very much. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. What, what day are we on? Day three. Day two. Um, day right, three, so yeah. Monday, Tuesday. Okay. This is a good, this is a good start, man. Good Hell start. yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I think I didn't... So I made... Uh, we smashed through the entire 60 day funding period amount in six hours. So that from the first book in six hours and now, um, yeah, about $4,000 away from the entire, uh, year and a half long waking dream campaign in three days. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty insane. <laughs> And you didn't become super arrogant and start yelling at everybody? <laughs> we do that on Camel Show. Yeah, Seems like that's, that's what we do over good. there. It works too. It really does work. It's pretty crazy. Camel will get a hundred dollar super chat and he'll say, "Yeah, but what, what's wrong with two hundred? You couldn't type in two hundred <laughs> people <laughs> send him a two hundred dollar super chat." <laughs> oh, that's his racket over there. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah it's great. Handrod Bangor's <laughs> moving up in the world. Don't worry, Kelsey. You'll be a famous artist someday. He's hanging there. Plug away. Keep I'm at gonna, it, Kelsey. I'll keep I'm, trying. I'm not. If I was, if I could, I'd tussle your hair right now, champ. <laughs> <laughs> keep your keep your feet on the ground and reach for the stars. <laughs> you get there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. Mm -hmm. We're at the over two hour mark. And uh, this was fun. I'm I'll, I'll tears leave. in my eyes there for a moment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a, thank you so much. Got a nice bump here. We had some good laughs. laughs. Uh, you can do it, slugger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, lots of, lots of uh, guys, everybody in the chat, please. There is the uh, the links to both of these campaigns. There's the pinned tweet right at, above in the chat. Back them both. I'm going to be backing them both as soon as we go off air right now. So, hey, uh, thank you, thank you, absolutely, absolutely. So, I want to thank uh, Kelsey Shannon. Anything else you want to uh, promote? You guys, you do a show during the day. I just want you to leave the stream up so I can click clip all your Rick Simpson. <laughs> okay, I'll leave it. Up. <laughs> oh yeah, but I do a morning show in the morning. Yeah, on my channel, uh, Comic Kelsey on YouTube. At what time? Uh, Eleven Central, eleven to noon. Okay, eleven central. So that would be uh, what, like eleven o'clock, uh, twelve o'clock, uh, real time, like Eastern. Oh, is that real time? Yeah, I, I, don't know. Know. <laughs> I thought that was central. 
a little in the future for me. Central time. <laughs> All right, yeah. so 11 o'clock Central on Comic uh, Comic Kelsey. It's All my right? quote-unquote morning show. Yeah, I guess at noon your time, it'd be uh, your lunch hour. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael, anything else you want to promote? So yeah uh you can find me on youtube michael bancroft uh i do streams uh usually at 9 p.m and you know three or four nights a week and i also do shorts as well if you're into that kind of thing like uh, little commentary shorts and stuff uh but uh yeah over there promoting comics and talking about all that fun stuff so yeah hit me up over there professor art says yeah i'm beat thanks zia <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so you basically hit the sack before you go to bed is what you're saying <laughs> got to <laughs> it's a great way to calm down all right everybody thank you so much thank you too for being here and thank everybody for the super chats thank everybody who is uh, having fun in the chats tonight it was a good one take care all thank Thanks. you bye everybody